Hello everyone, how are you doing? Um, yeah. Let me put the small uh, slow mode, not the small mode. Why did I say small mode? Okay. So save. Um, how is everyone today? How are you doing? The clickbait that is going to be chess analysis as usual. Which analysis? Which game? No, okay, we'll look at some chess, of course. Um, I think that um, we'll look at my games against So, which is um, which is the right way to go. Maybe not now, but uh, today, hopefully. Both CET time and Indian time and uh, any other time, except some countries. Yeah. Uh, questions, 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 questions. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a problem that uh, I cannot stop uh, joking. Doesn't matter what happened before. The most important thing is that now everything is okay. <clears throat> so, um, regarding Samai, Samai, he told me that uh, I mean I can I can pronounce it Samai and Samai both are okay. Official, I have it on one of the streams, so it's fine. And uh, um, he said, like, um, you know, he's um, establishing his Wi-Fi. And now he's only on some 3G or whatever, maybe 4G, hopefully. Yeah. And he said that after the Wi-Fi is established, we can make the, the talk. He even liked the prepared thumbnail for that. Said it's fine. I'm fine with it. Uh, uh, yeah, and so uh, he said, that I am fine with it. Uh, Sagarika is fine with it. Like everyone is fine with it. Yeah, so I'm waiting for, waiting, um, waiting for him and um, his Wi Fi. Wi Fi. Uh, yeah. So full permission from Sagarika we got. And yeah, we're we're good to go. So just uh, depends on Samai now. Um, Counter Strike. In Counter Strike. I've just uh, downloaded the Steam. And um, I have to ask my brother, who's now what? Um, sixteen years old, soon seventeen. Yeah, he plays quite well, and um, he was supposed to help me as well as my some of my friends. Yeah, because sometimes I see that let's say we have some kind of group in like WhatsApp or something or other messenger, and um, there I see like I send some message, and like they disappear like for a few hours, like all of them, like the whole group. And in fact, is that clearly now I understood. Once I went to one of my friends, at some point he told me, no, now we have the game and stuff. And so at some point, th th I mean, they just went crazy. And uh, we had a normal party. And then like four four guys out of the, of the company, they just went uh, to different rooms with PCs there. And the one even went to his apartment back home, like, you know, like running there and so on, like running, then going by car and so on. Yeah. And then they just started to play games and I was left alone, like in, in the middle of the party. They played two hours, like go B, go B, all that stuff. And um, yeah, it was actually very dangerous. So I don't know if I will be back of, uh, I mean, I'll be part of this, um, uh, part of this group. Um, working on my skills, Counter-Strike, what else? Dota, I think Dota Nipomnishi is playing very well. I mean, he was like uh, taking some places and some championships as well. Um, 
maybe he was third or something at some point in some of the championships i don't remember exactly but i think it was something like that um yeah so csgo vidi vidi is playing csgo seriously hmm no i think he didn't uh, send me anything about the csgo he's a busy man busy busy man um yeah low sound not sure i think it's fine okay let me a bit increase it but in general it's okay you can see that it's okay is it okay now yeah i think it's fine yeah i don't want to be too loud as well uh the problem is that uh as there is no chessboard and uh if you watch me on mute you will not be able to hear stupid jokes and uh, intelligent uh, talks <sighs> possibly so what are the questions tell me i am red because um because i'm shy by nature i'm introvert and um when there are too many people i become red especially when there is this kind of light like here um i'll buy some light to become i mean to change colors from time to time like on disco i will change from i don't know different colors why not kind of fun yeah uh shalesh barty is asking do you play chess i do play chess uh, from time to time sometimes i can even win against the world champion against um contenders sometimes i am myself a candidate for the crown but um this is like a part-time job and um like yeah i do it from time to time i mean i like chess in general uh i've spent like what I've spent like um 29 years of my life um just having fun there playing against kasparov kramnik anand ivanchuk carlson yeah i mean it's a nice thing i like to do it i mean on my spare time yeah so um So tell me what are the questions? It's interesting. Nakul just says why wearing black always? I don't know, my camera seems to be fine, but it's not black. It's like a navy blue or whatever you call it. So uh but the back uh, the background um is is black. Uh even though what's the problem with black? Yeah, okay, I'll wear something else, yeah. Red? Okay, let's let's vote for this. Red uh, uh red white what else is there? Yellow, I, I don't like that much. Mm, yeah, yeah. White, yeah? Red, white, green. Uh, what is it? White. Pink. Pink. Okay, white. Yeah. Ajay uh, Jahar says, are you retiring? No. It's hard to retire when nobody is playing the tournaments. Um even if I wanted to. If I <laughs> it would be it would be a great moment to say like I retire. Yeah guys, I retire. I don't want to play in OCB tournaments anymore. I retire. I uh, take my rest. Deserved rest and uh that's it yeah it would be nice and people will say yeah what a great moment to retire because like no one is playing chess anymore otb and uh the guy decided to retire so of course i don't like this moment like now to retire so i have to adjust the the <sighs> my super gaming chair armchair whatever it's called yep so 
AG is playing a tournament on 3rd of December, no? Uh, what are the other questions? Tell me. You know, when I'm looking at chess, you say, oh, please talk to the chat. When I'm talking to the chat, I see 50 messages where people say, please, uh, let's, let's look some chess. So today's a uh, kind of mode where, of course, we will look some chess for sure. And um, yeah. So, but before that, I also want to, before, during, after, whatever, I want to talk to the chat. I love talking to the chat. Especially that uh, I receive a lot of messages on like Instagram, Twitter, and so on. And um, impossible to answer all of them, of course. I mean, I'm trying my best. Uh, first, I had to take care of all of the questions from, I mean, the questions and confirmations, you know, uh, electricity bills from the Pune cars. They sent me a lot of messages. They said, uh, I am from Pune, I am from Pune. This I received like, I said 30 millions, but maybe 60, maybe 90 millions messages like this. I am from Pune. Everybody's from Pune, as far as I understood after reading all the messages. And um, suddenly, suddenly it's clear now that uh, Pune is the biggest and the most populated city in India. Um, I thought it's a uh, Rajasthan province, but um, it's Pune. It's Pune. So, uh, hobbies, DM3004200 is asking, uh, what are your hobbies? Mm, what are my hobbies? Um, I mean, by education, I'm a lawyer. So could chess be kind of my hobby? I just think not, of course. I mean, it's, I'm, I mean, jokes aside, I'm professional, of course. But uh, tennis, maybe. Um, some different sports. Mostly tennis, table tennis. Mm -hmm. What else? Tons of stuff, actually. I mean, usually without the virus, I was doing a lot of things. Not too much, not too many things, but... Uh, yeah, it still was kind of enough trading from time to time for fun and not only. Giri is writing something. Um, yeah, Giri sends my message. I mean, he, he sent a message here and uh, wrote that I sold my... I mean, in, in we have a chat. I cannot say the name of the chat, but... Um, it's a cool name and he says that I sold my soul and writes that sold soul OP the other things I cannot read because uh, inappropriate language unfortunately used here by different um, very famous chess players and yeah that's a nice chat that's a nice chat sometimes I'm scrolling it up having a good mood so many interesting things were discussed today. Unbelievable in this chat. Greetings to everyone. If somebody, I think Giri is always uh, watching. I mean, he's a he's a true friend. I mean, you know, if there is zero concurrent viewers, always there is one, and always it's Anish from one of the one of the computers, phones, or iPads. Doesn't matter because the friend is a friend, and this is the way to support your friends. So he does it and uh, yeah. Okay, questions, 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 questions. 2000 viewers, concurrent viewers, 2000 likes, 1841. December 2nd, 615 here. Good mood, waiting for the questions. Are you part of Illuminati? This I like. Anuj Tevarya, of course, of course, um, I was not supposed to say that, but as you know, I say a lot of things that I'm not supposed to say. So for this also, yeah, I'm, I'm part of, part of Illuminati, of course, what else, I mean, how else can you become strong in chess? You think what, you think Caruana just comes for fun or what there, Wesley saw? 
Anish Giri. Most of the chess play, most of the top chess players, including the world champion, they're they're uh, Europeans, the Western Western countries. They represent. Uh, Zing represents uh, China, and uh, yeah, so Soviets, Soviets, many Soviets, ex-Soviets, ex-Soviets. So I mean, for people without the sense of humor, for people without the sense of humor. It could be like um, they could create a huge investigative process. You see, Raja said everybody's in, in top ten. They're they're uh, Illuminatis. They gather on some island and get um, directions. You know, like uh, in the game number five in Vikanze against uh, Yi Fan Hu, play B four, move fifteen, and. The, like the entire circles, like Anish, is it you or me? I mean, whose direction is it? And we, and we decide this way. Magnus usually has the the central seat there, and uh, I mean, he's the most respected there. He gets, I mean, gets all the. I mean, he gets few there, few few things to do, and he's, he's a good guy. He's a cool guy. Uh, just for general public that will start watching the video from exactly this moment i would like to say that all that i've said in the last maybe two minutes or three minutes or maybe five or maybe even 10 or 16 al almost 17 is a joke yeah it's a fun it's humor it's um um sarcasm maybe so please don't uh, start the investigation against the top 10 because they're cool guys, my friends, and uh, mostly they're really, really there for the game. And yeah, so, uh, so yeah, um, let me see what Anish is sending everything. <laughs> what, is, what the hell? Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, yeah, and um, um, yeah, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I mean, if I have to put it like a comedy, the what, what I'm talking about usually, uh, Siddhartha Misra says Nadal or Roger, uh, Roger, yeah, I have huge respect, of course, for Nadal, but uh, Roger is, um, was always my favorite uh, tennis player. And I hope he wins some some other Grand Slams. Mm. Vishal says, "Wave if you love oranges." I think my entire stream is um, dedicated to oranges because of the lights. So there is no point of uh, really waving. Um, Knux C Knux two two says, "Your favorite food?" My favorite food is. Uh, mm. Some kind of steak with French fries, I guess. And um, yeah, I should become vegetarian, but it's hard, so I don't. Whatever is hard, uh, if there is anything hard, then I'm not doing it. It's as simple as that. So uh, Nishant S R says chess analysis. Yeah, Nishant, you know that. Uh, People are used to it already. I mean, my streams are m mostly going like from three to six hours. This is the usual stream. So there will be enough time. You will be tired of chess. Okay. Um, Aman, Tayap, Real Madrid FC or FC Barcelona. Well, Real Madrid more, but um, I was a huge football fan. So it's hard to say for me. I mean, like. I would uh, like in World Cups Brazil. Um, usually, I mean, the, the uh, Azerbaijan doesn't qualify for the World Cup as yet, but in general, of course, Azerbaijan I would support in any tournament if we qualify and we're, when we are playing qualifications. But uh, as they uh, now went into this, uh, you know, final stage, so it's uh, it's Brazil since nineteen ninety four. Yeah. Um.
Abina Fazarik who says, do you have pets? Mm, not at the apartment, but as I call it, farmhouse or summer house, whatever you say. Um, yeah. There is a dog. Oh, guys, so, so fast there. Shivam Bihar, call Somia someday. Uh -huh, Shivam. There is a very, very interesting plan calling Somia. And I know about it. And it's uh, going to happen. So, Prox has some moments, me some memories with your favorite tournament. Um, yeah, I'll talk about it later. Maybe the win against Kasparov, of course, in the World Cup. Both of this, yeah, were kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I think I've talked about it on some of the streams. Yeah. Um, Volayat Quadri SK Volayat Quadri says um, Pune or Zurich. Hard to judge because I have never been to Pune. But Zurich is cool. But Pune seems to be cool. I mean, I have to talk to, to Samai to understand. What do you mean you can see my screen? There is no point of seeing my screen at the moment. Um, Abhishek Mandal is asking, are you upset? No. Why? Okay, guys. Okay. Other questions. Other questions. Anything you want to discuss, tell me. Make your video full screen. Why? Oh, so fast, so fast, so fast. Moment, moment, moment. Um, favorite comedian, Shri Krishna Borde Samai Raina. Um, what happened um, with Botes? Yeah. Should I answer this one? Um, yeah. Okay. <sighs> so, we have talked with uh, Alexandra. We have cleared all of the misunderstandings cultural differences, things that uh, unintentionally offended. And uh, everything is okay now. We are past this. We uh, let it behind us. Uh, even though this time I mean to discuss things, I, uh, I had, I mean, um, I, slid, I slid to her DMs, but this time she asked me to do that to confirm my identity so um, so it's fine and um okay to be serious to be serious uh everything is okay everything is cool on good terms and um we're moving forward and everything is fine so those who wanted to create drama or make it dramatic bad for the entire chess community no chance because we're all on good terms and can clear misunderstandings between us uh certainly because we're kind of intelligent people and we can uh, always find the uh, you know mutual basis for good relations and um, not create drama out of one million stupid jokes that I do and uh, do not remember half of my streams to be honest because they're so long so everything is good with Alexandra Botes everything is fine we're moving forward and that's it enough said was it cool hmm disappointed Wanted fights. Bad energy. Uh, hard to write bad comments. 
when we're okay and on good terms, yeah. All good. So, um, um, let me see, let me see. Yeah. Also, guys, um, since my there are a lot of people that are there since my first streams and uh, they know that I very much respected all of the uh, chess streamers. Gentlemen streamers, lady streamers, everyone. And um, always appreciated things that they do for chess. So this is also important. And I've said it like countless of times, but this, of course, nobody listens to, nobody cares about. Oh, just, let's find something oh, inappropriate. Let's do something. Let's play this game against Raja. Not easy. All good. So. Mm, but Sharma says lie. You don't respect Anish. This time. I'm clearly offended. I'm clearly offended and uh, yeah. yeah, this is really uh, this is really offensive. Now remembering all these walks, good moments with Zanish chess matches. Yeah very dramatic uh, such things you cannot say to me so uh, video sync uh, says that how much did you earn from bitcoins not enough let me read the rest Okay, um, Sumya Banerjee is different Sumya. There is, there is a, yes, for all of us, there is a one main Sumya that we, I mean, I have to think, can I say main Sumya? No, I can't say main Sumya. Should be, uh, if I say the, the Sumya that we love the most, all the other Sumyas are like very upset then, yeah? Mm. So, it's not our Somia that is usually on the streams. Not the chess player, probably. And uh, what did she ask? I already forgot. Well, uh, let me see what she asked there. I'm trying to find. Ah, the hair. Which shampoo do I use for the care, for the hair? Hmm. I said once that I use uh, almost anything that there is uh, in, I mean, in the shower, in the bathroom. And uh, yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I mean, the, the hair is still there, but I'm not sure it's uh, going to last for long. So. Um, I don't remember first time exactly when I met Vichy. Was Ak Akash Koli is asking the question. First time I met Vichy, where was it? I don't remember exactly. I have to check. I mean, I don't remember exactly. Maybe it was Dortmund. Maybe it was Dortmund. Or something like that. Tushar Tiagi, who censored Raja. Favorite movie? Abhishek Sharma is asking. I like Gentleman, the, like the recent one. And uh, yeah, actually I have a lot of uh, a lot of movies. I mean, like the from the past, like, okay, this is the, the classics with Godfather and stuff. It's uh, just very obvious. 
Um, I like some Kevin Costner movies. Like The Bodyguard and all that. Mm, yeah, a lot. Apex Predator says Mama Earth. Not yet. Um, favorite superhero. Saif Siddiqui is asking. Favorite superhero. At the time, maybe it was Robocop. I'm not sure. Then this Marvels, and um, yeah, like Iron Iron Man stuff. Um, Ashutosh Kumar is asking, do you work out nowadays? Uh, no, I work in indoors. When is your stand-up comedy special coming? Um, I heard something on Vidit stream where he talks about some uh, com comedy uh, stand-up. Well, I mean... Um, yeah, probably after that. I mean, if I will be inspired by him, then yeah. Let me see who's writing what there. Oh, so many messages, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, this uh, two people that wrote message to me. Yes, Vidit and Sagar will do a stand-up in Pune soon. Vidit and Sagar? Ooh. Ooh. Danger looming. Um, Asif. Asif is smile. Says, have your relationship with Vidit now in trouble? What do you mean? Um, first of all, we were never in a relationship. Was with it. I mean, we were colleagues, but uh, separate private lives. And uh, he was a good friend always, but uh, nowadays you you feel that he he behaves not not appropriate, yeah. Like, what kind of stuff? Every time I'm in, I'm in the chat, he's welcoming me nicely. Says like, welcome Raja and stuff, like, how are you Raja, and so on. Sends me good messages. Seem to be okay, seem to be okay. Favorite singer? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Nowadays, uh, nowadays maybe Beyonce, because I mean, I get the best mood after listening to her songs. Um, who else is there? Shakira, for a long time, for a very long time, Shakira. I mean, I bought my first car when uh, Shakira was like in her prime. And um, yeah, we have listened to her songs. It was very cool. Asif Shaikh is asking, tell us your love story, Raja. I can tell you my hate story. A lot of stories building up for some nice uh, memories, but but maybe I should skip. Maybe I should skip some of the subjects. Some of the subjects. No, guys, I'm not banning anyone. Not banning anyone. Clearly, uh, recipe of my tea is very easy. You get the uh, you get the, like the kettle, whatever you call it. Uh, teapot. I mean, what, what what is it? And then, um, just press the button there. Usually, there is a button. Some of the buttons are like just normal button. Usually, there is some light, kind of light when you when you press at the, at the I mean on the button, and then there is some light, and uh, it boils the water. 
then once it's finished, you usually play some sound or you just see it like and stuff. And then you get the tea bags, get the cup. Yeah, you put the tea bag in, power water, wait for two minutes, add sugar or not, depends on you. And that's it. That's it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. You're not happy with this answer. You saw that there is some special recipe. No, it's just this. But you can take the Ceylon tea maybe. Or, I mean, depends on the brand. Some of the brands I don't like to, to, to drink tea. I mean, like, they're fine, but not that great. Uh, I mean, there, there are a lot of uh, good tea brands in Azerbaijan. And... Um, there are great ones like Ceylon tea as well, of course. I mean, uh, world known ones. Yeah. Coffee is also not bad, I must tell you. Even though I'm not supposed to talk about coffee, I'm about tea. Eh? It's tea time today. So, then tea. Um, Supratin Mazumdar is asking, are you going to eat the butter chicken today? No, I'm on a diet. I'm preparing for December tournament. Uh, Synax 22, Synax 22 is asking what would be the name of your autobiography? Whoa. My autobiography. Um, I don't know. I would think between um, remembering the young looking Geary or yeah, I don't know, maybe something like that. Something like that. Maybe something else like uh, Streamer or dreamer, something like that, maybe. Possibly, I have no idea. Favorite football player? Pele. Maradona. Mm. Ronaldo, the one from Brazil. And uh, the, the, I mean, our Ronaldo, the modern Ronaldo, I also like very much. I mean, he's amazing. No, Messi is not my favorite player. I like Messi, but uh, I mean, I understand he's a genius and like the amazing player. Certainly have great respect, but uh, he's not in, in, in the list of my favorite players. What's going on in our chat there? Let me see what, what they're writing here. Our team of... Let me see, let me see. It's our chat is epic. Our chat is epic, guys. such a uh, you know sarcastic people there they don't you know that this guys like uh, Anish uh, AD most of them Somia as well they're um, trying to be very uh, like correct in the in the streams and so on but in the chat it's... oh my gosh sometimes I'm afraid to enter the chat it's like Whew. so hard to bear all this sarcastic people so um who's there
Deepak Kanpal says, please make a podcast on your financial strategies and advices. What do you mean? Non-existent, uh, non-existent theory of Raja. Cool, the cool, cool book. Yeah, cool, cool. Will you play Madur Kakkar is asking, will you play Among Us? Uh, you get a chance to play it. Somebody asked me once, no, no, not once, 50 times, sorry. And he told me, man, are you coming? It's super popular now. Let's play Among Us in this. Uh, was it Among Us? No, there was some other game. Can you mention some other game where like uh, different animals uh, move in different squares that he played uh, with many different people? What was the name? Fall Guys. Fall Guys. I just came to the stream. I said, okay, man, I will just have a look. I just saw a lot of different animals of different colors moving in some squares. Happy faces of the people that play this game. And I said, Sami, I love you. I mean, it's like, I mean, we're friends and so on, but uh, can I skip for a while? Because... Um, still have some goals in life and I I want to I want to become a better person and uh, please and he said uh, like uh, bye you sure I said yeah I said okay maybe sometime some other time okay then he asked me for Among Us yeah for Among Us yeah I think that just was afraid to learn but uh fall guys yeah i think I, um, I mean i still have to consider maybe i'm missing something maybe Sied Hizer, when is the stream with wesley so first of all as you know from that stream from that epic stream that we had um wesley so is watching my streams he said and that was really unexpected. I know they're on a huge screen. I know they're in the living room. I know they last six hours. And I know that at least three of this six hours they're on mute. I don't use inappropriate language, but the things I say, hmm, sometimes better listened on mute hard to watch me on mute because there's usually not most of the time there is a chessboard so if you mute me just see for some for actors for actors like for actors uh for the future actors for the chess actors it can be a possibility because they can learn some mimics and stuff um like learn the body language for example for some of the games maybe for an age for example can be important because of some matches and so on he sees the way I behave, the way I move, I say something and so on, like, you know, all this um, new reprogramming or whatever it's called and all this stuff. But uh, for many, yeah. Adiban says that Raja would never shut up if he played Among Us. That's true. I don't know what, what the game is, but uh, it's hard to come on your stream, Adiban. And... Uh, Adiban, for your information, it's very hard to come on the stream, um, on your own stream, talk to people in chat, and uh, shut up on the same time, like uh, at the same time. It's uh, how to do that, man. Pranshu Sinha is asking, what is your net worth? Is it $20 million? 20 billions, maybe you want to ask. Mm hmm. No, it's a wrong, uh, it's a wrong estimation in any case. I don't have 20 millions, uh, whatever currency almost you, you, you mentioned. There are some, uh, some currencies that are devaluated or something, but uh, still. Million, you look like uh, 60s John Lennon. Yep. Uh, 
Mm, this is dangerous, man. It's dangerous. Uh, Dart Krivif is asking, can I improve my elo with a better game gaming chair like yours? No. Uh, no connection, man. No connection. I was just sitting on some like uh, grandpa chair at some point, like my grandpa's chair or something. And um, was playing still the same level, more or less. At least I remember this Knight of 6G6, Bishop G76 stuff. Mirnal Tiagi, favorite cricket player. As far as I don't watch cricket, and I know not, not much about it, my favorite uh, cricket player could be only Tendulkar, because I don't know any other name. That's the problem. But beside that, I know that he's one of the best, because Swidler had this nickname of Tendulkar when he was playing at uh, Internet Chess Club, which was very popular when I was young. Adiban Bashkaran is doing something there with the chat. Puke 11. Raja sold his brick wall. He is now trillionaire. Yeah, I, I, sold, I sold every every brick, one after the other. Um, as Saint Igos says, how many different teacups do you have? Many. A lot. A lot. Lucky dude. Are you a fan of the Scandinavian defense? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I didn't play it much, but I think from time to time I've played it against uh, Michael Adams in uh, Prague Rapid Tournament and somewhere else, I think. But uh, yeah, not, not too many games. Certainly it's slightly dubious. Hmm. Shreta Kur, which cars do you own? I have only one. Is it necessary to say the brand? The company that produced the car? It's a German company. Das Auto. Mm -hmm. Not that one, not that one. Uh, I was joking, but it's not that one. But German. No, no, it's not Volkswagen. No, it's not Volkswagen. But actually, I think they own the, the, the company. I think Volkswagen owns the company that produced my car. Uh, no. Okay, uh, okay, make your guesses, make your guess. No, no. Not Audi. Not Mercedes, not Škoda, not BMW, not Lamborghini, not Bentley, not Jaguar, <laughs> not Ferrari, yeah, Porsche, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's correct, that's correct, yeah, Porsche, yeah, that's true, and yeah, not Tesla. Oh, uh, yeah. It's an old Porsche, but I mean, that's still fine. It's okay. Oh, so many messages there in the chat. AD, you are everywhere, man. No, it's not 9-11, no. Um, so some chess, you think? Hmm. You sure? Wow, so many messages, guys. So many messages. Actually, it's cool, yeah. 2,000 viewers there. So happy that you're there, like... Even though it's just a talk, but um, yeah, I'm a professional podcaster now. You know that. Samai turned me in one of the most professional podcasters. Uh, we're discussing his kids, his uh, grandpa. Mm. Yeah. Cayenne, yeah. Shivam Singh is right, Cayenne. 
Yeah. It's an old car. It's like 10 years old car or something. Nine and a half. Um, no, actually 10, more than 10. Yeah. I'm not driving that much. Like uh, I drove like 50,000 kilometers in uh, 10 years, which is uh, ten more than 10 years, 10 and a half. But I love that car. It's an amazing car, yeah. Um. Oh, actually, have you watched the human movie that I've suggested? The hu human. I think they have like uh, three episodes there, and each is like one and a half hours. Yeah, it's a cool movie actually. I mean, I've watched it a few times and I was uh I was having different emotions and um I mean, it made me reconsider a lot of things in my life. A lot of things. Yeah. And uh I think I became a different person after this movie. Like I think it's a gem. Uh, Rohan Nag says, what car does Anish own? Da -da -dum -bum -bum. So pleasant to know all the secrets of Illuminati Anish based in Hague. Knowing a lot of chess lines. Being a chess model. And a professional streamer. And you are asking me about his car. Hmm. Even though you know the answer, it's just still pleasant. Satum Lu is asking, what do you think about Turkey? I love Turkey. And I have very good relations with uh, a lot of people from Turkey, a lot of friends. Um, also Turkey is a very, um, friendly brotherhood country for Azerbaijan and, uh, they're always supportive. A lot of people there know me, by the way, it's also quite fun from time to time. There are a lot of Azerbaijanis as well there and, uh, it's a great country with a lot of, uh, like amazing food, amazing people, of course, and amazing, uh, um, you know, resorts. I've been a lot of times there, played a lot of tournaments as well. Uh, European club cups, team championships, a lot of stuff. Yeah, I love Turkey. Um, favorite holy destination, pool kids in high asking. Um, San Sebastian, Spain. San Sebastian, Spain, the, the, the Basque country is called or something, Danostia and so on. And um, mm, I've never stayed there for long, I mean, just for the tournament. And from time to time, just visited some of my friends, but I also like Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo, Monaco. Agra Sensing says world number one or world richest man. Um, world number one. Yeah, not even world number one, maybe as a comparison, the world champion. I would prefer to the richest man in the world. Do you know GM Abish Matthew? No. Pranit Gandhi Lamborghini won't be bad for you. Send me one, man. Send me one. Please. 
Uh, time zone says, as I said, everything without chess. Yeah, but it's not even one hour, man. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare. Don't tell me then. Oh, why so many variation? Not talk. Talk to chat. Talk to chat. I have a question. Roger, please. There's a question. Please answer and stuff. Before G5. G5 before. Before A4. A4. D4. D4. B5. Soon it's coming. Soon, soon. Prepare yourself. Prepare. Prepare. Take coffee. Take uh, energetical drinks. Uh, wash your face. Take a shower. Put the board, different types of boards, engines, chess base. Wait for it, man. Wait. Uh, Shreytakur says, <laughs> Tim Rajov, you are my favorite non-chess YouTuber. Cool, man. That that was a great one. Um, Amok Badugu says, soon means six hours, like equals six hours. Yeah, probably. Why not? Are we, what, in a hurry? Where? In the lockdown. I mean... Yeah, before you could say, you could pretend. Nobody did anything, clearly. Everyone was, uh, you know, everyone was uh, the same like now. Everyone was uh, super lazy. And uh, most of us, we were like um, pretending that we have a lot of stuff to do. We were finding some kind of stuff to do. Now what? Where, where do you go? Here. Stay here. Let's watch. Let's talk. Let's uh, do something. It's fine. Nowhere to go. Sorry. Guys, you are stuck now in this YouTube world. Um, Tahsin Mahmoud says, so many streams to watch. Please hurry. I, I hurry. I can't, man. I can't. I mean, it's fine. If you go to other streams, it's okay. Leave me alone. Be a bad person. It's fine. I'm okay with it. If you don't stay, you want to go to other streams. No problems. I'm not in a hurry. I want to talk to my friends, the chat, people there. Cool. And then chess. Yeah. Then chess. I don't understand much in chess, but uh, why not? We can discuss it. <laughs> yep. So. Cosmos Rai. How much do you love us? Hmm. Hmm. A lot. Um, um, local mechanic is asking, uh, so in, in, uh, Azerbaijani language says like, uh, hello Temur, bro, you said that Wesley's so became stronger and, uh, I also saw it, uh, and also he beat Magnus. Like, what do you think about it and so on? Wesley So was always a very strong player. And um, in his prime, in his best shape, he's able to show real uh, class. And he's a very strong player, both over OTB, online, doesn't matter. He was always a st very strong player in OTB. I think he um, put a great pressure on me in Shamkir Chess Super Tournament once. And I was hardly able to withstand that pressure. I made like few slight inaccuracies and got a really unpleasant position. I think I also defended it very well and uh, I was able to escape, but it was a very, very hard game for me. So it was really hard. Um. Adiban is, is asking in the chat um, to me, can you please keep the streams to three hours? Otherwise it gets very late and I can't sleep because I get FOMO. Thank you, AD. Thank you. And Giri says, oh, by the Viraja in an hour speed chess match uh, starts. Be aware of that. Aronian plays against MVL. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you so much. I know that many people will leave to watch that match. And I can also, can I watch that match as well? Yeah, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. We will see. 
Um, oh, there is an interesting question, guys. There is an interesting question. If you had to save only one of Samai, Anish, with it, who would you save? Hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. I'm thinking about it. It's really interesting. Guys, I would probably, probably save AG. Um, there are also, beside, the, beside everything else, there are also um, good reasons to do that. I'll tell you why. AG is married. He has a small kid. Samai, even though he doesn't say to us who is his girlfriend, to me even, guys, imagine, I have, I have asked him as a friend many times, he didn't tell me, probably we all understand that it's uh, Sagirika, we understand, we are, I mean, we are not stupid, yeah, we, we <laughs> yeah, but, but, they're not married, they don't have kids, they don't have, uh, uh, those people to take care of like the kid or something so of course beside everything else beside everything else of course in this case it's very important to say Anish and um, yeah I think this is the this is the way because I mean really of uh, I mean Danny is a very adorable um, very adorable kid and uh, for example, you saved with it, and then what? And then what? Okay, you saved uh, the captain of the national team of India, and um, the Black Lotus app uh, backdrop that he has there on the streams. Some of the super chats. Okay, you saved some of the super chats. Mm. You saved some. Poorly analyzed Ragozin lines. What else? You saved, I can say important, is that you saved, for example, the, the, the owner of some of the stocks of uh, Sula Viner. This is, yeah, this is a this is a problem a bit. I mean, this plays in his favor, certainly. The national team captain, the Sula Vinery. I mean, in terms of income, it's... Uh, it's maybe the I mean, it's a possibility. It would be best to save them all. Uh, it would be best. It's it's impossible already to save Samai, first of all. So that's why I'm talking about Anisha and Vidit. Samai is generally gone. I mean, he already gets this ads with uh, Tinder India and so on, uh, even though that he just moved like a few hours ago to Pune without Wi-Fi. Yeah, so it's uh, no. I mean. I mean, let me see what the chat says, our chat. Uh, well, yeah, uh, I mean, I would save them all, I mean, but uh, yeah, Samai is already, as you understand. Understand or not, but uh, it's clear. If you don't save it, you'll lose all the Indian fans, Preksha P says. Yeah, that's a pity, that's a pity. And uh, still, still, I would try to say both of them. If not possible, I'll save Anish. There's Danny, there's Sopikov. There's uh, there's the entire family to save. Uh, 
because with Vidit it's hard. If he would at least tell me uh, who is his GF, then maybe. But in this case, when there is an invisible GF, it's hard to understand. I mean, he has a good family, everything is okay. Uh, he's a millionaire. He became recently uh, with the Super Chats and so on. He, he was uh, featured in um, uh, Super Forbes, Super Forbes magazine. magazine and uh, there they say that, I mean, the number one sportsman in the world uh, in the Super Forbes top uh, 100 richest so he's fine I mean too rich and uh, no family dangerous I mean I don't know I mean it's like if you save him also you know if you save him he'll be like very arrogant and um, also I'm not sure if he I mean w what do you mean by saving it's hard to say yeah because it's like Maybe he's alive in, and fine completely. You, you never know. You never know. It is tricky. He can disappear at any moment uh, in any situation. Probably he plays Counter-Strike, I guess. Maybe he's already lost there. Maybe he's playing Counter-Strike. That's possible. Yeah. Some tips to improve middle game, please. Hmm. Ashutosh Kumar says, um, what do I know about Raj Kapoor? And uh, I mean, okay, Raj Kapoor is like the, it's like my parents knew about him and stuff. Is it a producer and director or something? No, was it? Yeah. And uh, he has he had a daughter. No, she was an actress as well. Was it or? Hmm. Okay, let me let me read the. Uh, Harsh Patel is asking, have you been at a Gujarati restaurant in Baku? No, no. I didn't know Vidit that well at the time. So, um, I want to discount in the restaurant. Is it connected with his family? Vidit Gujarati. Okay, are you ready for chess? Are you ready for chess? Tell me if we chat still or we start some chess. Okay, clearly not, clearly no, no, no and no. Of course not. <laughs> uh, for chess, there are professionals like Nakamura. Go to some chess. Gentlemen and lady streamers. Superstars. And some daydreamers. I become a Shakespeare. Shakespeare of YouTube. Shakes Raja. Um, what am I risking again, guys? I don't risk anything. There are gentlemen streamers and lady streamers. Both are cool. Maybe some other streamers. I have no idea. I, uh, just uh, I know the gentlemen streamers, lady streamers. Full respect. So, uh, do I watch anime? Yeah, I do. I've seen like I don't know, thirty-two s episodes of Naruto. I uh, have to still watch it. Mm. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of uh, episodes left. Um, Joy T C C T T whatever M, uh, please do analysis of G M Abish Matthew. Who's this Abish Matthew? All the time I don't know Matthew. I know Matthew Sadler. I don't know Abish Matthew. 
Mm. Favorite Naruto character. Kakashi was it? Was he Kakashi? Yeah, let me check. Kakashi Sensei was he? Kakashi Hataki. Yep. Yep. Cool guy. Like him. Super GM. Super GM. Abish met you. Oh, let me check. Whoa. Yeah. He's a real super GM. I have his chest profile as well here. 896 rated. Cool guy. I like him. I remember some guy from from the top 10 who was called uh, Abish. Yeah, yeah. Top 10 chess player of all time. Let me see, what's this non-copyrighted music that you can put from time to time? I've seen the Kamura with a lot of music there. And... Um, let me see what happened here. Um... Yeah, let me see uh, non-copyrighted music. Oh, yeah. Um, when you search on for the non-copyright music there... Ah, by the way, guys, I have a lot of ideas for the streams. Mm -hmm. And um, only thing um, is that I, I'm not going to tell them. So if I put the non-copyrighted music, is it okay? You don't like music, yeah? You don't like this uh, Virit's music? Virit music makes me mute him. I'm usually muting uh, Virit's... Uh, Virit's um, uh, with its streams watching um, watching him play chess trying to climb that list in uh, uh, title Tuesday but then I unmute him and uh, whenever I enter chat I unmute him before that I mute him this is normal for us Generally, chess players mute each other, more or less, because you understand. The point is that when you are playing a game of chess, you are, like, muted. You can only say, I offer a draw, and that's it. Uh, so you are on mute, all of you. In the hall, you are on mute. Normally, in uh, nowadays tournaments, you are not even allowed to talk to each other. Some players violate this. From time to time, they get kind of, uh, like... Um, I mean, what is the what's the word? Like uh, the arbiters say, okay, I mean, you shouldn't talk to each other and whatever. What what is it called? What's the word? Doesn't matter. You got it. And uh, we're on mute there. I only see moves. Yeah, let's say I play you with it, and uh, I mean, he makes a move or something. Yeah, I just see that uh, he's upset. I mean, clearly, because position is so so. And. Uh, for example, with Vidit, we, we played a game in Vaikanze. I am uh, I cannot say I'm proud of this game because uh, with Vidit, uh, we both saw that we are playing an amazing game. And in fact, it proved to be... Uh... Oh, it proved to be. It proved to be. There is some two, two hours analysis, post-mortem, when we analyze the game with clever faces, very intelligent, both like this, I saw this, and you saw this? Yeah, I saw, <laughs> of course I saw this, knight xc5, oh, g5, rook g7, <laughs> yeah, and then queen f6, you are just winning, yeah, I'm just winning. 
and here oh the, here you are winning oh yes 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 of course this i saw and you saw it yeah i saw it and they saw it they saw it as well and then we analyze like for two hours like this with a lot of cameras with a lot of people around us all saying wow wow this super grandmaster amazing moves what they see everything and stuff like that because they were uh, without the engines then I came home and I, I, I wanted to ask all the journalists if it's possible to erase this video because we have made like mistake every move. I mean, it's like not even uh, almost every move is a mistake uh, where we stopped. It was plus five, according to Stockfish, where we started. It was, I don't know, like equal uh, where we made some other things. It's like very unclear. I mean, I was really surprised. I mean, I came I just uh, wanted to write to, you know, there is uh, St uh, Fiona Stale Anthony. Uh, who is responsible for the coverage there in Vikanze or something and she also has a channel and the fish channel and uh, she asks questions and I, I'm, I'm answering to her I see that she smiles and I'm like uh, Fiona I mean maybe knight xc5 bishop b5 bishop b4 bishop d4 she says <laughs> yeah I said okay uh, the other lines many other lines and then uh, she's also like <laughs> yeah Okay, just, what's the problem? I mean, I'm super GM. I saw everything. I mean, Vidit also. I mean, he reacted to it badly, probably a lot of lines. I mean, he, he saw that they're bad for him and so on. When I came home, guys, when I came home, oh my God. Uh, I didn't know Vidit uh, that well at the time. He was so enthusiastic during the hour post-mortem. Yeah. Oh, nice times, nice times. Twitter, like our last tournaments. Now why can they will happen, but uh, certainly different type of tournament. Guys, why is everyone writing to me? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, Rajul Asati says, enlarge yourself. If I would stream on any other platform, I could already be uh, very offended by this. So please, please. Um, let me see the questions. Change your background. I can't, guys. I can't. Because while I'm streaming, I'm also thinking uh, what's behind that curtain. Agra Sensing says, uh, make your screen bigger. Fine, the board will appear now, finally. Um, okay, let's do it like this. 1.30, let's make a little break for chess. <laughs> <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. And uh, let's see some games. Invite friends and uh, talk about the match against Wesley that I think I was playing quite well quite well um, but uh, on a second day I think Wesley was on top I mean I was I was misplaying things I was uh, not in the best shape probably or maybe he pressed that well and uh, generally I think he, looked, he put a lot of pressure and I cracked under pressure there in a very important moment Ramesh Kumar says, Raja, can you come to my wedding? I can, of course, of course. In my raider, as all the chess superstars, I will have, uh, I mean, they have the raiders when they come. Um, usually, usually, uh, I will not say because, you know, everyone is very sensitive nowadays. So, for example, Anish will tell me later, like, Taymor, what's this? You also, you, I mean, you just said that I need the, the 10 pizzas in my room and, uh, you know, the f water without gas, like tons of stuff. All, all of my secrets, more or less. All of my secrets. Good internet connection. 
and all this huge uh, room. I know him. I mean, I mean, he doesn't want to speak out all these raiders and stuff. He has a huge one, huge list, and um, yeah, that's why. I mean, uh, uh, in my case, it's very easy. In my case, it's very easy. There is uh, rice if you have there, and uh, butter chicken, butter a lot of sauce, uh, cheese naan, cheese naan, mm, roti dal, non copyrighted music, please, because I'll be streaming probably from your wedding, and maybe. Maybe. Maybe if it's okay for you, Samai maybe can come with me, or is it, uh, is it, is it a hard condition? Uh, is it possible? Yeah. Um. about visiting the Indian soil hmm easy but uh, the problem is the flights yeah I can get some kind of permission to enter India probably but it should be like medical reasons or the work so for example if we did uh, invites me to work with him But if he invites me to work with him and they watch my streams, they will understand that uh, it's a joke. Um, Kalustav Biswas says, who is your second? I can tell you who is my third, but who is my second is a secret. Um, Rajul Asati says bored you said 10 minutes ago Rajul Asati even if it's not your birthday I'll put the board just for you you will see the board you will see the board man haha <laughs> easy let me do it where is the skilling open I don't get it Guys, if someone has the link there, can you send it uh, the skilling open stuff? From chest 24. <laughs> Anish is funny there. Anish being Anish. Okay. Um, Nakamura Yeah, I've played against Nakamura I remember that Okay, knockout part It's on this -dum -bum -bum. Okay, for our friend Let's put some chessboard Just in case Then I leave For five minutes for five minutes and uh, put the non-copyrighted music maybe maybe baby I'll put the non-copyrighted music my background is going to be changed very very soon my light will improve very very soon also I will come with a huge surprise but it doesn't matter now imagine there is no surprise not even a small surprise not even huge and uh, what else what else what else what else what else Tons of stuff, guys. Oh, tons of stuff you can't imagine. It's just starting. It's just, I'm just back. I'm just back. It's all starting now. Okay. Yeah, so, um. I'm sure that this uh, 200 people that uh, Anish mentions in our chat that left when I started the chessboard, <laughs> the chessboard. They are these guys from BSNL, BSNL uh, company of Vidit, because Vidit clearly has some problem with the internet, which is good for us. 
and for them and for everyone mm -hmm. okay here um yeah just a moment let me crop all that stuff okay that's fine let's pretend that we're going to uh, look some chess just in case and i'm back to chat haha <laughs> yeah you see immediately 200 people they left anish is right Anish is always right on this. There is a chessboard, they leave. Um, Dart Grief says, Raja, do your bold hair reveal soon. Or what should I do? How can I make the bold hair? I mean, bold head. Well, what is the, what is the procedure? Should I just um, shave all the hair? Um, Augi Alfonso says, is Raj Kapoor famous? Yeah, 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 he's famous. Especially in the um, older generation, they all know him. Harsh Maheshika, Raja, don't do this on the name of chess. I'm offended. It's okay. Amit Salvi is saying that Raja Sula Vines can make you a brand ambassador. Ready. Ready for discussion. Gaurav Sharma says if you want uh, copyright free music, then use NCS. What is NCS, guys? <laughs> Enlarge now. Okay. Apur Van Sal says, shave your hair on stream. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. Uh, Darshi Chak says, have you watched Death Note? No, but I've received a lot of messages about the Death Note. And I'll be happy to, to watch the Death Note. But uh, yeah, I have to watch it. But first I have to finish Naruto, actually. Rahul Gula Gulia says, why can't we super chat Raja? Not yet. Probably uh, will work in some time. Let's see. I like this guy, Vegeta Sama, who says no copyright music and then writes NCS. But man, what do you mean NCS? Then N for no, copyright for copyright, but S for music. Nice. Cost of Biswas immediately clarifies that it's a non copyright song. Rashul Mishra said, Do you know who is Ashish Chanchalani? No. Um. Okay, guys, can we do a little break? Is this one okay? Okay, tell me if this one is okay or not. It's the best I've found so far. Haha. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, okay, tell me which one. Tell me which one and I'll play it. Okay, 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 okay. But don't uh, sleep then, yeah? Because it's too chill.
This is fine, yeah, okay, fine. That's fine. So guys, uh, let's do some break, and after the break, I'll come and uh, we'll have the guest. We will have the guest, hopefully, hopefully, and uh, we will discuss chess. Watch the games. Okay. So guys, how can I use the desktop uh, audio in this case? Tell me how to do that. I'm an OBS, then what? Guys, I'm on a Mac. I'm on a Mac, so it's different. So I add audio and then what? Which one? In add audio. What should I use? Default? I have default and uh, the stream cam or something. Guys, it's a Mac. What do you mean? <laughs> Kalash server says uninstall audio driver. That's cool. Is it better now? Too loud? Okay, fine, 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 fine. Loud guys, rip ears. Seriously, like this. <laughs> Throw your Mac, man. Okay, okay, I'll do. Okay, now. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, it doesn't show on this one. Okay, what is the, now? It's okay. Oh, I see. I see. I'm, I'm doing the other one. <laughs> okay, okay, Mika. Okay, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Sorry, sorry. 
for those who need the surgery now for their ears um, you can uh, write on my phone number plus nine nine four five zero and then you know the number is the same like some ice 50 once so one 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 never ends it's okay now right <laughs> okay cool guys okay let's do some break and then um, we'll come back with the guest and let's see some chess okay hopefully this music oh, yeah it's like forever I can go cool yeah number leak plus nine nine four five zero one 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 and repeat it how much you want Okay, how long is the break? You decide. But um, 10 minutes? Uh, PUBG test, uh, you are watching my stream on mute, man. My man, my man. 10 minutes? Let's do 10 minutes, yeah? Anyway, we'll be there for long, so it's fine. Guys, not necessary uh, to talk about the minutes from 1 to 10. Just 5, 10, 15. 10, I think, is fine. Okay, so now it's uh, 37. Okay, let's say 38. 48 back. 48 back. Okay. Meanwhile, you can watch other non-entertaining YouTubers. I love you all, no one, please don't get offended, I love you all.
Okay. Okay. So. So guys, yeah, um, um, what I wanted to ask you as well, one thing, so are you all here, are you all, are you all here, or, and is it working, mm, is it working, fine, maybe, no, it's okay now, or hmm. <coughs> yeah so um now the sound is fine now the sound is fine so tell me one thing um if you are let's say not registered uh on youtube can you see the chat So even if you are not registered on YouTube, you can see the chat. You sure? Because I think I did it from one of my devices and I couldn't see the chat. Okay. Okay. Then uh, you can anyway. Yeah. So let's say, yeah. Okay. Then anyway, okay. Just subscribe and let's not discuss this strange topic. Just subscribe and it's fine. So you subscribe to the channel. We make it what, what is it now? So let's do on Roger's channel, Roger rate. This is the most unusual stuff that you ever did. Guys, I just sent one word and there are like 20 or 30 people more that subscribe. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe, to hit the bell, to see the notifications, to um, like the stream, to also um, don't miss, please. Also not missing the, you know, the, the uh, all the live streams and stuff. And uh, comment, please. Also, it's cool to see your comments. Maybe some things you like, you don't like, or you want to add, or you have some suggestions, also important. So please subscribe. Please um, uh, please like the stream. Please comment. Please hit the bell. And, and, and. We'll write down to the guest. If the guest can come, we'll see. So, yes, Roger Raid on Roger channel, Roger Raid. Very logical. Let's do this. It's our chat, so I'll just uh, clear it out. So, mm -hmm. the best silent stream ever. Let me try to create a zoom. Mm -hmm. So um 
send me the link. Yep. Yeah. Uh, clear, clear uh, raid of my own channel. Um, let's be selfish from time to time. You cannot always be a good guy. And clearly you should um, really fi fight for the subscribers, uh, uh, destroy your uh, contenders, opponents and so on. So please, not too many talks. Subscribe, like, enjoy. Uh, hate me love me do whatever you want if you subscribe you can do whatever you want if you want to like me or i don't know love me it's fine as well um So let me ask the guys in the chat as well, how's the situation? Nobody wants to join, they said they want to watch the stream. Nice guys, nice friends. Chess is incoming, chess is incoming. work out work in and uh, almost ready almost ready to work chess finally oh topi actually arzam harris topalov raid yeah yeah i actually have to ask him maybe he can come and show some stuff yeah yeah actually it's a cool idea man cool idea um mods are there or not guys with uh, due respect to them i love them uh Yeah, cool guys in general. Vivek Gupta says, okay, bye then. What do you mean, man? What, what, what was the problem? No, Smiley Pop is there. Puki normally is there. Uh... So I have CD keys there most of the time, so guys, yeah. Okay, I'm open to the, I'm open to the shampoo, shampoo advertisements. open to the shampoo advertisements so whoever wants to advertise the shampoo uh, as far as I have hair even if with your shampoo I don't have hair uh, possibly Mokshit Pila the favorite shampoo will be the one that will support the channel Yep. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? I'm not sure if I can really <laughs> make it well, but still, let me try. Hi, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Should I write in a WhatsApp or just in general they're asking? 
no generally i was watching your stream on yep. mute of course as usual it was very entertaining <laughs> on mute is the best uh so yeah on mute is the you know especially without the board <laughs> and on mute so what's up raja so there is a, a chess board on your uh, stream finally yeah which deserves some justice yeah let me see why why you're so big here you are the only one who is not asking for the enlargement let me try uh, <laughs> just a moment <laughs> i mean sorry but uh it's uh, anish who said the trend um every time he enters the room he says uh can you enlarge me and uh without the medical education i don't know what to answer because he's a good no guy no comments general. Okay, yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how is the how is the situation? Yeah, yeah, all good, all good. What's you up? You sure? Yeah, sure, sure. What's okay. up? Suddenly, okay. Suddenly, okay. Tell yeah, me, tell now me. that you stopped the music, like a lot of people started watching. Mm. Not bad. No, it's because you came, I think. Yeah, you see, it's approaching two thousand, and um. Uh, mysterious man says Raja is flirting. Uh, actually, he wrote flirting, but I, I think there is no word like this. Flirting. I I think he meant flirting, but uh, no, no, no. I'm okay. Uh, just uh, you are not used to the polite, uh, polite conversations. What can I do? <laughs> anyway, this is Any not a good way to flirt. Any polite considered uh, flirting. Um. Puki11 says, I'm only here for Somia. Puki11, <laughs> uh, a great uh, backstabber. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Was uh, effective and uh, well awaited. Um, uh, what, what is, uh, yeah, a Bish versus Vish game with Somia. There was the, such game? I did it just well. I don't Vish. know, but he's supposed to be a grandmaster, even I heard. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. I haven't seen the Abish. Abish. Abish is supposed to be a grandmaster. But Abish is a comedian, no? <laughs> no, no, it's a joke. So it's a joke that they address him as uh, GM Abish Matthew. Mm -hmm. And he played some games against Anant or not? I don't know. I haven't watched this stream. I think he you know, my some... favorite uh, favorite streams of Samai are the mini clips. Mm -hmm. I actually had never seen them. Then one day. <laughs> Some I was like, watch this one, watch this one. They are really funny. Have you seen them? Uh, with Abish or without? I don't think there is any Abish in those. Films. It's just him playing chess and uh, uh, they're, they're quite funny. Yeah, but he played chess even against me, Samai. With me having uh, 15... Uh, 30 seconds or 15 seconds against... Uh, no, 30 seconds, I guess. Against uh, 5 minutes. When? When was this? At some point, he even won the first game. He was uh, very tricky. Yeah, and he did like uh, all the strange moves, and yeah, I couldn't I don't expect feel so any bad of them. Now. And so, uh, yeah, I just lost by <laughs> on time or something. I don't feel so bad now because you know I had such a bad position against Samai, like yeah. in our first game. Such a bad. It was so bad. He played so well. He played so well. It's not even like, you know, I made a blunder. It was just such a bad position. But okay. So he just generally out I... outplayed you. Yeah, he totally outplayed me. But luckily, at some point, but many, at some point, I maybe was. Anish prepared him. <laughs> some opening part. No, he's preparing a lot. You know, he has this book, King's Gambit. He has this opening book on King's Gambit now. King's Do Gambit. You know that? Yes. So he played King's Gambit against you. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see. And you got a bad position. You are a E five player. Very bad position. No, I play C5, but okay, we just decided to play E5. I, I wanted to see how he plays the King's Gambit and he did it really well. So, yeah, is my uh, Mickey Mouse, um, uh, you know, uh, cup uh, disturbing or is it okay? <laughs> it's cute. It's not disturbing. You don't have Why? Uh, is cats? cats the chat doesn't like maybe, it. Maybe cats at home you have or something. Maybe they are annoyed. <laughs> no. It's okay, yeah? <laughs> yes. Just in case, yeah. Uh, so that uh, nobody nobody's... Uh, Nobody's feeling bad on our streams, just in case I'm asking, because uh, there is some kind of bad history from time to time. Um, so, 
Uh, okay. So what's okay. up, Raja? What's the plan for today? The plan was to look at some games, but mm -hmm. um, it was hard and still hard for me to look at chess because I love the game too much and uh, I'm afraid to lose my mind over some of the analysis. So I just wanted to start with the match against Wesley, which I started quite well. And then uh, he destroyed me in the second match. And um, just wanted to show some game, which uh, I'm proud of. Like these two games I'm proud of, like as black. Um, okay. Yeah. So this so one, can, can you see the board? I can just uh, go to chess 24 and see the board. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, so not to have the lag, yeah, somehow. Or... Yeah. Okay, coolio. Wait, I'll get the game yeah your knockout yeah one second <clears throat> okay it didn't start i'll just get it meanwhile uh hide self you they say what's the problem there with half save uh <laughs> they can't no 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 need to hide self you know wait let me see your stream it's okay no, no guys both if you like me or you don't like me in any case in any case we're here for chess so you can mute me and uh i'll do my best i'll do my best i can even type in the chat if you want it's fine zoom video lag they say so that's why maybe let me do uh, oh maybe if i do this way is it um, maybe no, I think okay. it's because I'm I'm streaming in 1080 recently. Oh, right. Okay. If you don't see me, I think you remember me because uh, uh, we speak yes. from time to time and uh, meet on different streams. Yes, yeah, should be fine, Raja. You remember, I can send you the, my portrait, the link with my portrait if you want. And uh, then is it okay? You sure? Yeah, I'm fine, Raja. Okay, fine. I've seen cool. you enough times. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Thank you so much for clarifying that. And uh, <laughs> okay, so um, I am muting and watching. Punit Tripadi says I'm muting and watching. And um, no lag now, subtle trolling. Uh, watching on 240p. Guys like the stream. Zoom is fine now. Smile. Okay, so it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. So let's go. So uh, which move are you on now? Castle D6? I'll check where you are it's the first game okay. of the first match okay got it yes yes so okay. castle six i have it d6 h3 a6 i mean bishop g5 is quite possible from time to time in any of this position doesn't work that much i mean h6 g5 is okay there and um yeah so it goes a4 h6 rook e1 mm -hmm. rook e8 knight bd2 bishop e6 i mean all all this kind of stuff is siri more or less i've played it as white many times mm -hmm. as well and as black as well so he takes before bishop a7, knight f1. Now d5 is a possibility here, is one of the possible moves, but also possible to go as I went, queen d7. I went this way against um, um, against Swidler in this tournament, against um, uh, one forest in Waikanze. Mm -hmm. And um, here he goes for queen c2. Once again, d5 is possible. I went for rook d8, b5, knight d7 d4 here i don't remember exactly if e takes d4 is the possibility anish knows it better for sure and remembers the stuff but knight g6 is certainly a possible move i mean black is still quite uh, quite okay not not that bad as yet i mean didn't do something really bad here so knight g6 knight g3 tell me one thing you expected him to play this line like um, or, uh... Not that much, to be honest. I mean, I thought he would play some kind of playable stuff. But, okay. uh, yeah, I've played this line many times. Actually, I didn't check okay. any of my notes before this match. As I was okay. not sure, actually, what he was playing. I mean, what he was going to do. And uh, mm -hmm. there are so many lines that you have prepared against. So I saw that I will better keep the, like, kind of fresh, uh, you know, fresh look at the board and stuff and play the game normally. And mm -hmm. avoid this kind of uh, repeating the lines all day long. And actually, he went this right. line, so it's better. It, it would be better probably to prepare, but okay. I mean, uh, I just decided I will uh, play over the board, whatever he goes for. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't know here if d5 is possible. Is it that bad? It's probably it's worse for black. White can After take, maybe. knight g6? Yeah, knight d5? g6, knight g3. 
okay. move 17. Now I went at takes b5, maybe d5 is a possibility. Um, mm -hmm. I was afraid of taking on e5. Knight e5. Maybe. Even though maybe knight e4 is possible. Okay, knight e5, knight e5, rook e5, and bishop f4. That concerned me during the game. Actually, okay. combi engine shows that um, it's just completely is, fine for black. How is knight e5, knight d4? Uh, which one? Here? Uh, after d5, d5, knight e5, knight d4. Can I just move back the rook? Rook e8, maybe? No, uh, rook e8, okay. So this position... Um, yeah, but it should be fine if I exchange e4. Okay. So I'm not sure what, what black can do. I mean, what white can do here. So I was I was a bit worried about this knight takes e5, rook e5, bishop f4 with id e5. And um, mm -hmm. after which, I don't know. I see this engine now on the side, which suggests... Um, Rook e8 or rook e6, both are possible. But okay, let's say rook e6 is more natural. e5, mm -hmm. I was thinking mm -hmm. about it. And now just, mm -hmm. um, I was thinking about knight h7 and so that I'm slightly, slightly worse. But compi now shows that rook d8 is maybe good or maybe queen e8 even. Mm -hmm. And actually rook when d8. I'm looking at this position now with b5 hanging, mm -hmm. maybe it's possible, but I don't know, I was scared of this. Some rook d1, maybe with c4. Right. <laughs> Should be checked, of course, with a stronger engine, but uh, I don't know, maybe queen e8 was the idea of knight d7. But it seemed very, very passive to me. Um, I have no idea. Maybe mm -hmm. that was possible, but it's probably playable. But still, I don't know. Rook e2, rook e1. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it possible to play some rook e1? I saw that maybe some attack is there, because you are without the engine there. It's like you have to play over the board, so it's different. When the engine show is right. fine, you know, you are just like kind of uh kind of not sure about every position here so i was not for example during the game right. maybe it's fine <clears throat> for black. i don't know what do you think about this somia yeah i think i i like that uh position after queen e8 i mean no uh, but like here after knight of five do you think it's uh which one um, yeah, so uh, let's say I go ah, d5, okay, okay. So, yeah. he takes Sorry, d5, okay. or maybe, no, d takes d5, I mean, knight takes d5, knight e5, rook e5 yeah, and yeah, bishop yeah. f4, yeah, yeah. Um, rook e6, e5. So this I was afraid of, I mean, I saw that uh, it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, <clears throat> looks uncomfortable, no, after uh, this knight f5, queen e8, rook e2. <clears throat> then knight d7 if you have to go then it's a little uncomfortable yeah but that's what i meant yeah with this queen e8 maybe this is kind of tricky i, <laughs> I didn't see it during the game anyway after uh, e5 queen e8 <clears throat> um right. rook e2 knight d7 and some knight f5 right so i don't know now with compi it's different but um, even with compi it doesn't look that great the knight d4 id is always in the air and uh, also yeah. the, the flank can be kind of vulnerable there with queen d3, g3 coming from time to time. I don't know. I mean, there is still rook g6 all the time there, but well, I don't know. Maybe some knight to fade, but it looks a bit passive. Looks a bit yeah. better for, for, for white. Not necessary to get into this. Yeah, so I went more or less logical here. I went uh, a takes b5. A takes bishop b6. <coughs> he went rook b1, defending b5, which is also logical. Rook e8. Trying to get uh, out of this d5 stuff. And now he went bishop e3, which is also very okay. I went queen e7 because I didn't see what to do against c4 stuff here. Because c4 at some point is coming. Also rook bd1 then. And, uh, you know, he pressures on the, uh, on the cent I mean, in the center and c4, c5 is coming. I mean, all the pieces are kind of passive, even though they are quite uh, nicely placed for the defensive uh, roles. But mm -hmm. what to do exactly is not sure. Because what is the move as well? After bishop b3, I was thinking about rook a8, but you know, rook bd1 is coming and all that stuff. Knight d2, maybe knight c4. Mm -hmm. He got some kind <laughs> of slight advantage. So, queen e7 was the idea to play queen knight e7. d7 and uh, prepare against c4, c5. So, I went queen e7. Um, knight f5 was possible when I can probably get back to d7 here, maybe. Oh, or maybe okay. f8, depends. Okay, I can probably go boss. 
Maybe this is also possible because E4 will Effect, be hanging. Yeah? Right? yeah, E takes and E4 is hanging. Uh, right. Yeah, like Queen E7, you see the position, yeah? Rook E8, Bishop yeah. E3, move 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen E7, Rook BD1, logical. Knight D7. Mm -hmm. So my idea was to protect against C4, C5 IDs and mm -hmm. bring my queen maybe closer to F6 and Knight F4, stuff like that, or maybe E6, F6, like, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. to try to defend kind of center, central uh, position. Maybe c4 was the move. I was actually very afraid of c4 here. I didn't see exactly what I have to do. Would you have taken on d4? Yeah, let's say if I take on d4, then maybe take with the knight. No. Even though the <clears throat> bishop is also... Possible. Knight to c5? Knight to c5 and maybe some knight f5 stuff, no? Is it possible to go knight f5? Knight df5? Yeah. Maybe? It's very dangerous yeah, because possible. the knight is approaching there. Knight h5, queen b2. Right. Very, very tricky. It's actually uncomfortable. Hmm. Yeah, so here I would have to decide what to do because it's not sure. Maybe I would go some queen f8, just still defending this way, but it's very passive. Very passive. White can just play mm -hmm. around. Yeah, just can go king h2 and like, you know, play around. Maybe it's okay somehow for black, but still it's it's very hard to play practic in, in a practical game. Maybe knight f5 is possible, I don't know. So I think this was mm -hmm. the best for him, but somehow he didn't play c4. He went knight f5, like kind of trying to clarify something in the center. So queen e6. Mm -hmm. Queen f6 was possible when I was afraid of knight h2 stuff and knight g4. And also okay. g4, g5. Okay. Yeah, because g4 and then g5 is threatening and then it's hard to actually hard to defend because after g5, h takes, bishop takes g5, the rook on d8 will be hanging and also the queen is uh, completely trapped there on f6. So... Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but maybe knight h2 g4 is also possible. So I went queen e6. Okay, this is natural. My idea is to attract d5. Mm -hmm. Is move 22, right? Yes. d5, then just queen f6. And then somehow I, I have normal squares because knight is coming to f4. And the position seems to be more or less uh, more or less okay for black. And also I'm having the good square for knight on c5 as well. Um, yeah, right. and now he started to play interesting chess. He went bishop c1. And I don't know, maybe I stupidly played queen c4, allowing this bishop takes h6, because I saw it's not dangerous, I saw this max a draw for white. Mm -hmm. So I went for queen c4, but in fact maybe knight e7 was a possibility here. I was afraid of g4, which is probably not that bad for black. Yeah, and now queen c4, or maybe takes and queen c4. Compi even shows that the position is good here. Okay. Yeah, because I'm probably threatening he takes d4, d5. In the center, I'm quite strong. Let's say some human practical kind of move, like king h2 and rook g1 is met with e takes d4. You know that uh, when there is kind of stuff on the flank, you have to, to act in the center mm -hmm. or something. And mm -hmm. in this case, after king h2, e takes d4. Yeah, probably it's just good. Yeah, just no attack at all. Rook g1, king f8, maybe queen c3, I don't know, anything yeah, works here for black. Let's say this. Yeah. Even knight e5 is possible. Knight f6. King f8. <coughs> okay, eight, okay. One second. I mean, too much, yeah. Too much, maybe. Black is just okay, probably. And, uh, yeah, somehow maybe knight e7 would be more logical. I don't know about knight h4, but uh, Compi says even knight g6 is possible now. Even taking is more or less okay. So probably that was the way for me to play the position without risking anything. I went queen c4 because I thought bishop h6 leads to a draw. So move 23, queen c4. You've got it, yeah? The position. Right. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. And uh, now I forgot to turn the sound a bit. I mean, I forgot to lower the sound somehow. And um, mm -hmm. it was like on maximum or something. And when he played <laughs> yes. here, bishop takes h6. I, I, I just uh -huh. jumped in the chair, not because of the move. I mean, uh, uh -huh. but because the fact because of the fact that it was too loud. So uh -huh. when he took on h6, I was like kind of scared. I, I didn't expect this to happen. And like immediately when he took on h6, it was such a sound in, uh, in the apartment that I was like kind of uh, jumping in my armchair. So bishop h6, g takes h6. Were you looking at his camera when you were playing? Like, did you have his camera in front of you, or you were yeah, not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was changing from, um, from the playing area to the camera from time to time, uh -huh. and um, just trying to see the face, the emotions, and stuff during the game. Right. Which, uh, which seemed to be kind of uh, okay, like uh, because otherwise you don't see the opponent, you don't feel the opponent as well. Mm -hmm. 
people are asking something. What, 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 what? Uh, they ask if Maybe. you have any, any kind of healthy problems or issues or anything. Are you okay? Are you feeling yeah, good? Yeah, yeah, Adivan, you know, Adivan was calling me just now and he also asked me the same. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, let me ask Adivan if he... Uh, why, he why he doesn't join? <laughs> yeah, he can join. I think he's anyway watching, no? Yeah, he's anyway watching always, yeah, but it's like... <laughs> him, he's like... A, like a, uh what is it what, what is the word your, your stream is too distracting raja even if we are doing some other work we have to watch it it's too it's too entertaining but are you watching it on mute <laughs> sometimes depends sometimes, yeah. on what's going on <laughs> when the grandma is sleeping he said he needs his beauty sleep <laughs> what? <laughs> come on okay. adi you can join it's okay for half an hour He's anyway we're going to watch, I'm telling you. Bishop C1. Queen C4. Okay, let me. <laughs> okay, let me send him the email just a moment. With a link. I'll, I'll be back, just one minute. Um, where's the link? I invite, it's this one. Copy invite link and... Okay, link sent. They say AD stop being such a drama queen. <laughs> AD is, uh, yeah. Eddie's sleep is ruined now. And the uh, Piyush Songara says, I'm also watching on mute. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is he sleeping so early, AD? Is it supposed, I mean, yeah. are you supposed to sleep too early, like in, uh, in India, usually? We usually, no, it depends. Yeah, I mean... I usually sleep between 10 30 to 12. I think it's normal. AM? Mm -hmm. I think Vidit also used to sleep early before he started playing. Are AM? <laughs> no, <Nahin>, PM? <laughs> Kya hota? I don't know. Maybe 10 30 when everybody goes to work, you sleep, it's fine. But no, after this tournament, like sleep, sleep schedule is completely ruined. Okay. But it's so, okay. Okay. So when do you well, sleep usually? 10.30 to 12 usually, but now I'm awake. I mean, like last night I was awake from 3. I, I slept at 12 and woke up at 3 and then I was awake from 3 to 7. I just couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, but what's the way But now? in Europe, so... everyone sleeps late. Yeah, it's normal. In Europe? Hmm? Mm, depends depends because um, I mean people that work in the, uh, at, like during I mean uh, next morning usually they sleep uh -huh. uh, quite early at least they try but uh, yeah obviously yeah yeah otherwise you can't get uh, you know too far with such schedule I mean if you're working all the time you know you have to wake up early at some point you just get uh, you know like kind of knocked out eh? you, 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 you have to sleep at some point I mean, it's impossible otherwise. You just get sleepy in the middle of the day and stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you should get your beauty sleep as AD. Mm -hmm. um, the link is sent, but AD is not there, I guess. No, it's not. Yeah, so Somia... Your uh, volume is very low, Raja. Is there a reason? Like, is there a way to fix it? Why? Ah, now it's okay. Now it's okay, yeah. I don't know. I bought some strange mic. I, I, I wanted to buy some kind of... I mean, it's a good mic. But maybe it's it's nice that it's not that loud, and um, uh, you know, like uh, people will uh, not mute me all the time, because to hear what I'm saying, also they have to, you know, when it's loud, like when somebody speaks on the stream and it's loud, uh, uh -huh. then sometimes you want to mute or make the sound lower. But in my case, okay. it's just like you know, they they have to come and you know listen to the stream, 
with problems, you know, and uh, yeah. So they probably mute me less in this case. Because what did Raja say? And like all the family comes to the screen trying to, trying to listen. So that, that was the case. It's tricky, yeah? You know, my streams are tricky. So I mean, what about sure. your streams? When is the next stream? <laughs> Mine? I don't know. I didn't plan anything. Why? My plan was to just like uh, sleep a lot after this tournament ended, but obviously nothing of that sort is happening. Yeah. But I don't know if I'll stream. Yeah. Why don't you I... know that you will stream? Oh, Adi is here. Yes. Yeah, okay. he was challenging me for five minutes. <laughs> oh, yes. The timer starts now. What? Adi, come on. Adi. Uh, okay, no. Everyone actually, knows really that you are doing nothing except this. Exactly. Anyway, he's on our chat. Like, the <laughs> what? Indian the national chat is team. Like, okay, you can go whenever you want. Yeah. Indian so, national nice. team man told us that uh, there is no no point. I mean, he's not doing anything anyway. Yeah. Okay. No, Raja. Like, why can't I see your uh, beautiful uh, video? On because Zoom? Uh, the stream will lag. I'm in 1080. Maybe that's the point. Ah. Okay. You see? Yeah, okay, you guys were very too serious, so that's why I called Samya. I was like, okay, what's happening? <laughs> but we were seeing chess, no? So, AD, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but okay, chess. it would be nice to, uh, like, yeah, me and Raj are always uh, seeing chess, but okay, we also joke around. So it's, uh, it makes the atmosphere more funny, yeah? Yeah, 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 that's but uh, the humor is very dangerous nowadays, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can end very badly from time to time. Yes, AD. No comments. No comments. No comments. Just in case. Just no in comments. Case. Just in no case. <laughs> AD, uh, AD is like, like official now. He came and like, no comments, guys. No, 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 no this is public. No, please. No. AD, um, um, were you watching us on mute? No comments. <laughs> what is this? What is happening? It's the official, it's the official, you know, it's the official precaution by the Indian, all India Chess Federation. <laughs> AD, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, AD. AD, don't worry. Hey, no, no, wait. I'll I'm take, I'll take all the shots. I'll take all the shots. It's okay. No, no, not that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, now it's fine. I thought OBS was funny. Yeah, no, it's all fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. No, so, no, guys, no, I was more yeah. concerned about your OBS, but it's fine now. So I'll be... no, it's You're fine, concerned dude. about my OBS I... yeah. and about my OCD? I is think it it okay? all, all right. it's all right. Yeah, it's fine now. It's fine now. It's fine. So, guys, this position. Look at this. The fear, uh, fearless uh, Wesley sacrificed the bishop. Yeah, and, um, that was nice. That so was you did nice. see you you spotted it after playing queen c4, right? No, no, Not... no, no, no. Of course, I, I no, no. So I, mean, I was uh, um, calculating queen c4, and uh -huh. I was afraid of bishop takes h6. Okay. So then? I increased I increased the sound of uh, to maximum on my uh, PC, so that if he takes there, I'm not afraid of the move itself, but I am uh, scared of the sound. <laughs> and okay. this is what <laughs> happened. And then so I okay. released all the bad energy, took the bishop of course, okay. because otherwise there is no other move. Queen mm -hmm. t2 already he wants to mate me with queen h6 and queen g7, mm -hmm. and uh, I saw it from far of course this f6, but mm -hmm. um, I don't know what about queen e6. Is it possible to play queen e6 as well? Knight h6. Because if queen takes stone h6, then there is queen f6. And oh, yeah, black is true. okay. And uh, if he takes on h6 with a knight, so I can move my king, I mean, whenever, or I was afraid of this at least. I mean, I don't know. King g7. Then knight f5, king g8, queen at 6 queen f6 anyway. Yeah. And uh, maybe there is some knight g5. I was afraid of such stuff, you know. It doesn't look that good during the game, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe now it's fine, but, you know. Hey, so if he wanted, he could uh, draw, yeah, anytime. Yeah, he yeah, could, he, he could, could he could. But mm, this kind of enough. stuff is maybe just fine for black, no? Knight f4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like uh, once you defend, you start attacking, yeah, somehow. Hard to say, I mean, to be honest, what is this kind of position? Yeah. Because, um, I mean, Compi's first suggestion here is knight h8, you know? <laughs> nice. So, I mean... Knight h8. Knight h8. Yeah, it's not that strong compi. It's the compi of the side, but still, I think it's stronger than me. That's why. Uh, that's why I think it's uh, yeah. Takes queen h. I mean uh, knight d8, queen h6, queen h6, king h6, and this position should be fine somehow for black. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, but uh, okay, knight b sound, the knight is getting trapped, yeah. Okay, so you can't take. Yeah, it. because after knight h8, I don't know what what can you do here because rook e3, I will just take on f7 and. Uh, oh no, wait, the knight is gone, right? Anyway. What do you mean it's gone? The knight on d8. Uh, yeah, it's trapped. Yeah, it's trapped. H6. No, no, I saw some very funny idea, like uh, so. Uh, knight b7, rook b8. Mm -hmm. Knight d6, cd6, d and d5, and you wipe out all the pawns. Yeah, but I also can uh, take on d2 first, no? Or you take on h6 first? You take on b7 immediately, or you take on h6? Yeah, yeah, first? yeah. Take on h6. And ah, then, take on h6, yeah. Uh, ah, okay. You want to take on d4. Yeah, but d4. Oh, no, okay. knight b7 and then rook b8? Yeah, yeah. Knight d6 takes uh, d5. This is what I was thinking. Yeah, so you want to take all of the pawns and pretend that uh, probably it's uh, cool, yeah? But I have three pieces, yeah, no? Like, I mean, can I just play this special with three yeah, pieces? Yeah, three pieces, but five... Oh, wait, uh, uh, six pawns, yeah? It's so funny. Yeah, it's actually very funny. I mean, it's a, it's a very rare case, yeah, to have this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is epic, no? And you know what is the evaluation? Yeah, okay, I don't no, need the evaluation. Nobody zero, knows. zero, zero. <laughs> the usual, yeah. The usual just stuff. normal. Yes, yeah. I'm king g7, and it seems that this position is equal, but let's be fair, I mean, from far it would seem like uh, very dangerous uh, stuff for black, yeah? Mm. I mean, you are sure at least that with black you don't win here in the practical game? And the uh, max you can do is draw, no? Yeah, you can't really wait, so... Ah, even if you get rid of, like, the two rooks for rook and bishop, it's draw, yeah? So I guess it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, true. So here it seems cool. that, yeah, I don't know. It seems that black is more or less okay, but it's very dangerous. One of the possibilities. I don't know, maybe instead of knight h8, there is knight f4 possible, then g3. Mm. This kind okay. of stuff. Uh, like move uh, 28, knight f4, g3, instead of knight h8. Uh, then knight hey, so h3. So we have to follow it on YouTube, yeah? That's the only way, right? Yeah. Uh, I can share the screen as well on uh, Zoom. I don't know if it works. It's, it's not this working. is fine. We can follow it. It's yeah, bad, yeah, AD. No, uh, no Zoom. Fine. I cannot see anything. It's just like. Uh, uh, no, I mean I can share the screen on the Zoom so th so that you see there. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah that's what that I'm saying. I mean, you will see a lot of uh, you will lot, uh, you will see a lot of inappropriate chats beside that. But uh, yeah, let me. Yeah, but it. I want to see that. So yeah, that's fine. It's, it's the point yeah. of uh, sharing the screen. Yeah, that's the point. It's the whole point. Yeah. So. Yeah, and um, okay. Now you can see the you can see the board. Now we now we can see your yeah you can see it. Oh no! Okay, guys, okay. you know I, what was on Raja's? So you were checking out channel analytics. <laughs> no, no, that's for the. Uh, and don't don't say don't function. say which which channels analytics I checked <laughs> because uh, it can offend people seriously. Okay, uh, next question. AG is so afraid nowadays now. I mean, because he can, uh, yeah, yeah. I will, I'll also better not comment on that. I mean, his private life can okay, be ruined. Okay, now I can see it. Awesome. His private life can be ruined because of this talk. <laughs> so let me see the position. So but chess. does the stream lag if you share your screen? Just a moment. I'll ask the see. chat. Is this chat? Ah, Zoom stream frozen. Okay? Ah, it's, oh, zoom yeah, freeze. it's lagging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. Don't do it, Raja. I think it's yeah. uh, like frozen now. Yeah, mm. okay, so no sharing, no sharing. Yeah, okay. I don't think this uh, works. Sharing so is caring. <laughs> AD, you know that I'm... Yes. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, all these talks. Uh, how to unshare the screen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it works yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, guys, so good. I'm talking about the position after 28, knight f4 instead of knight h8 in this last line. Yeah, yeah, got and, it. And um, g3 is the move, probably. And now I'm not sure. Move 29 for black. Maybe knight h3, like Compi suggests. King g2, queen takes f2. Ah, just take everything on rook afraid, yeah? Yeah. But maybe king okay. h3 after queen f2. Queen d2, rook d2. Oh, nice. And uh, Okay, rook h8 anyway. Oh. Hashtag, now we're back down. Yeah, but rook, king g4. King rook h8, g4, there's knight yeah. d8, no, man? Oh, yeah, 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 this is the thing, yeah, it's just... Not yeah, but you can go rook a8 and probably black saves the game somehow. No, but... <clears throat> Achha, instead of rook h8, rook 8. Ah, oh, got it. Yeah. 
But it's very complicated, let's be fair, it's a, it's a 15 minute game, it's something, something really different. Why didn't you like your move F6? I, I like your move F6 instead of this Queen E6. Yeah, I was sure F6 is the move because I mean F6 is very simple. I mean it's first of all, um, first of all takes the square G5, and so there are no Knight H6, Knight G5 stuff, which uh, completely restricts the F3 Knight. And beside that, after Queen H6, if I'm just playing Queen F7, it seems that I I'm just back and uh, there is no problem. And I was sure hey, it's a draw after Knight takes H6. Hey, um, we were uh, checking this game uh, like D5 on the and uh, Knight H6, yeah. Sorry. We were checking this game on the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. After D5, uh, I think the after Knight H6, the move was I think King H8. Uh, yeah, it was after D5. But also, I mean, Compi shows now I see a 26 uh, Knight H2 after F6. Oh. One of the possibilities. Instead of D5. Okay. Yeah, normally the the whole idea of knight h2 is not to attack uh, immediately, it's just to open the file for the rook, and the rook can uh, come from e3 to g3, which oh, is okay, uh, okay. creating a lot of problems, especially practical problems. Hey, what and, were you uh, thinking about, uh, like, uh, you thought you were better or you were happy with the draw here? I thought it's a draw, I mean, in terms of d5 knight takes h6, I saw that I, somewhere I will have to repeat, because it's like, it's looking really dangerous. I mean, it's like really yeah, no, this knight on the five is annoying. What do you think of Wesley? Is like ambitious generally, or, uh, uh, or yeah, it's very ambitious. Try, I think what he did, because uh, okay. uh, it's either you go for a draw, which I, I think he, it was not his intention, and yeah, yeah. Uh, either you just win somehow. But I mean, uh, mm. it's hard after knight h two, for example. I don't know. I mean, it, it seemed to be really scary for me after knight h two. I saw that mm -hmm. I can play some 97 or maybe stuff like that. But Compi somehow suggests H5 here, which is really brave. Wow. What? And the point is just restricting uh, 94. 94. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, but what happens for uh, Queen H6? Queen yeah, H6, maybe queen you can just queen bring F7, it back queen, yeah, queen F7, Queen H5, Queen H7. Yeah. Yep. Okay, fine then. <clears throat> The point is yes. that once I, once I get rid of this attack with all this knight, uh, you know, jumping all around, I'm a piece up and quite a stable piece up actually. And uh, also the G line can be used for the rooks. I can always also sacrifice one rook because I will get then two pieces. So it's like kind of uh, quite stable. Eh? If I move my queen to h7, it's quite stable. I mean, I don't have After... any attack to worry about. Sorry. After h5, if I play d5, you anyway play knight f4. You mean here d5 after h5 d5, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, I can also play knight e7 because uh, I mean now after d5 you don't have rook e3 anymore. Mm, okay, okay. It's now ad is there explaining to his mom why he doesn't have to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 why I have to? <laughs> hey, okay, hey, uh, Raja, if it's fine, can I uh, just? Uh... Yes, of course, man. If the mom told okay. you to go to sleep, please uh, listen yeah, to her it's, because uh, is uh, the most caring person, yeah, for you there. Yep. She will only, dad, always love you, no matter what, no matter how dad. many subscribers you have. Yeah. Nothing. Yes. He's so careful. Yes. You said she's the most caring person for example, for you. Are these like and dad? You know, he doesn't want to offend anyone. Yeah, yeah, and uh, dad as well, of course. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Ag, please, uh, <laughs> please, uh, please listen to your mom. Please sleep well and uh, see a lot oh. of good dreams and uh, about. Uh, Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen streamers, lady streamers, everyone. Yeah. Okay, now I'm glad. Like, uh, someone oh was God. just very happy. Yeah. Bro, be <laughs> bro, be careful. Seriously. I was happy only. We were seeing chess and I, I don't know how to, like, be like this uh, just, joke uh, around when we are playing. We are seeing chess. That's the only thing. Oh, yeah, okay. It's not easy. It's not easy. I, have to, I, oh, yeah. I have to also uh, carry a lot of responsibility this way. I mean, uh, yeah. you see, I mean, uh, all, for, for all of you, I'm, I'm fighting for all of you. Like, uh, like, uh, okay, I will not say yeah, in, in case, okay. yeah. Yeah, 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 in yeah, case, yeah. Some uh, things I will not say just in case. I want to go out with the, like, some. So, okay, yeah, as always, looking great. So, yeah, with that, I thank just you, Adi. My Good night. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, Adi, yes. for coming. Thank you very much. And, and uh, Raja, the start of the stream was epic. Okay, not the start, the first, I don't know, one hour or 1.5 hours. Uh, you were just with this uh, overlay and uh, there was just a wall and uh, you were just talking about life and stuff. And 
I am very glad that uh, you also you mentioned your favorite anime character. Uh, hey, what? I didn't. I missed that. What was it? But uh, have you watched any Naruto? Or? I'm very glad that when he was asked who is his favorite fo- footballer, at least at some point, yeah, first he was like Pele, and then <laughs> Ronaldo from Brazil, and I was like, okay, fine, I'm leaving the group forever. Like, what is this? And then finally, <laughs> finally, he was like. Yeah. Ronaldo, what was Ronaldo's? What was Ronaldo's? Uh, this uh, body fat rate? Ah, uh, sound point. Seven percent. Seven percent. Seven point six or five? Seven percent. Yeah. Ah, seven percent. Half percent not even existent even there. Yeah. Just seven. <laughs> That's yes. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Because yeah, I you know, s- like uh, yeah. Raja, you won't believe it. Like Saumya suddenly like asked me like uh, just how to watch like uh, Naruto. I was like, okay, I will just tell you. But you never just... sent me the link, Adi. I this no, no, was but, like, five uh, months ago. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. It's on Netflix. Ah, it's on Netflix. Yeah. I told. Come on, you didn't watch. Okay, what no, I didn't watch. Night? I don't have Netflix. Why don't you okay, have Netflix, uh, Saumya? No, no, wait. It's too addictive, so I just didn't subscribe to it. I was like, forget it. It's too addictive. Yeah. Netflix. But so Netflix. why do you play Except... chess? Then? Why do you play chess then? <laughs> you subscribe for life, yeah, for life for for entire life is fine. But the Netflix uh, for some years is not good, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, no, once you start, it's very hard to stop. Yeah, yeah exactly. Think, uh, so I just decided not uh, to. Yeah, subscribe. I just finished like five seasons recently of an anime. Yeah, I just. Yeah, I don't know, but Queen's Gambit, have you watched or not? Mm. Yeah, it's just not for me actually. Why? Uh, I want to I... do a Netflix original, uh, King's Gambit. King's Gambit, you want to do? Yes, with Samai. Yes. <laughs> with Samai, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, that could be cool, yeah. Yeah. But you don't uh, like the Queen's Gambit, the movie itself. Or you no, no, no. I will watch it eventually, but yeah, first I prefer anime, and then like I watch. Um, Yeah. We can do actually a movie night because I mean there is an option there when uh, you share the link <laughs> seriously when you share the link on one account or something like that with uh, the other viewers hey, and you Discord, watch it right? at the same time. Uh oh, it's on Discord, right? Raja. No, I think it's only in in Netflix itself you can do that. Oh, 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 nice. Okay, yeah. yeah. We should do that. Yeah, let's do that someday. We should be sponsored by Netflix by the way. Netflix, we're waiting. Oh, yeah, Netflix, please sponsor us. Yeah, but uh, AD AD will be like the AD. You, your advertisement will be like until uh, 10 uh, IST, 10 PM IST. <laughs> 10 PM. <laughs> like for all the people who go early to sleep. And yeah, stuff. like Raja, you have to be a role model, yeah, for the future generation. So that's what I'm doing. Model. Uh, uh, sleeping early and waking up late. Yeah, this is the role model we have to show our kids. Okay. Not easy. our kids, the future generation. You don't have a kids. Of course not. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, AD, yeah. AD. Yeah, okay, yeah. Hey, thanks. It was fun. Awesome. Uh, AD, yes. uh, be careful, sleep well, and uh, yes. please uh, behave well as well. Yes, yes. Now, right back at you. Yeah. Don't forget your older brother who gets into the problem from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, guys. Uh, Chad, uh, just uh, take care of Raja. Yeah. Uh, AD, is it the bed fine. where you will sleep? Yeah. Huh? Is it the bed where you will sleep, the one behind you? Yeah, yeah. I was too lazy to set up the green screen. So, yeah. Okay, but so. don't forget to uh, to turn off the camera, please. <laughs> yes. We like watching anime, but uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I not the rest. Not the rest. Okay, AD. Think, yeah, okay, AD. Yeah, have a good night. PG, have a good yeah, night. Okay. We're here for chess, not for this uh, <laughs> banter okay. talks. Bye, bye, man. Good night. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> bye, AD. Yeah, bye, Aka. Yeah. Okay, he finally disappeared, which is a rare case with AD. But uh, closer the night, less AD you can see. It's normal. So, Somia, what do you think about uh, AD's analysis? Yeah, it was interesting. This Queen F7, uh, this all this Queen E6 stuff. Okay, let me see the position. But I liked the F6. Like I thought it was uh, easier to play F6 over the board at least. More logical. Uh, yeah, but I mean it's not so easy, of course, to play the moves like H5 as well. You know, it's like 
You yeah, are sure together night, with actually. the engine, yeah? I mean, you are sure in the stuff together with the engine. Without, yeah. you know, when he plays knight h2, wants to go rook e3, rook g3. For example, if h5, rook e3, let's say, rook g3. But can't you just play for knight h2, can't you play something like knight f4? He will anyway play rook e3, right? Uh, you mean after knight h2, yeah? In instead of h5, if you play knight f4, he will anyway play rook e3, is it? No, actually it's possible, maybe, yeah. Rook e3, some king h7. But yeah. uh, maybe knight g4. Anyway, king h7. King h7. Yeah, maybe you can. Maybe you can. With the idea of rook g8. Yeah, g3. Yeah, it's scary only. I mean, but... Uh, but very scary. What yeah, to I do? Mean, imagine in the real uh, practical game. Yeah. A bit... Uh, yeah. But knight h3, knight g5 exists, but then you have this rook h1 in the end. And yeah, but already yeah, all the pieces scary. will be in the attack. This is really yeah. scary. And knight g5, yeah. rook h1. And the rook just yeah. attacks from h6, h1 is coming again. I mean, all of the pieces are... This is winning for white, yeah. This is uh, confirmed yeah. by compits winning for white. It's dangerous. I don't know. I mean, but this h5, imagine, I mean, you have to play h5 and the rest of the... All of the other moves are just kind of unclear position. But uh -huh. h5 is, I must tell you, it's like... Uh, it's like Very really strong? a high high quality move. I'm not sure I would be able to find h5 here. I mean, at least the sword would not be about it. Like h5 mm -hmm. with queen h6 coming possibly, but queen f7, you have to see this from far. And mm -hmm. the rook e3, rookie let's say, to rook g3. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some knight f4. Rook e3, knight f4, okay. Yeah, rook g3, which looks very dangerous. And in fact, it's not dangerous at all because king h7 so, are all protected, but... Uh, seven. Not yeah. even 8, 7. Okay, maybe h8 is also possible. I see what you mean, but uh, yeah, h8, okay. h7 is also fine, yeah. Wow. But uh, yeah, now it's clear. Now we see the whole picture. It's clear. Rook g8 is coming. Queen e2, uh, piece up for black. And uh, yeah, it's just winning. But, uh, you know, over the board is a bit different, yeah, because this all looks like kind of scary. How does king h7 work? Why can't you go rook g7 and g3? I'm um, sorry, is this one, yeah? After this king h7, why can't you play rook g7 and g3? Rook g8 is there or not, maybe? Or uh, is it too bad? Or yeah, rook g8, yeah. Okay, Rook fine. g8, rook g8, king h1. So and queen e2. Weird. Oh, queen, queen two. e2. Yeah, it's beautiful, actually. g takes f4, queen takes e4 and takes f5. Yeah. Wow. Okay, comp is a magician, yeah. We knew that. We knew that before. <laughs> this is amazing, yeah. I mean, kind of, you know, this H5 is so calm in such a situation where you need more mm -hmm. or less to protect like everything, but in fact, H5 just uh, destroys, actually, yeah. Just good for black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there is again some play, because for example, Knight F1, trying to play Knight G3, a move uh, 27. Mm hmm. And it's also not so easy to react as black. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's say knight f8, knight d, knight f3. Knight, I mean knight one is three. Knight e3, okay. Yeah, knight d5, and I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so I, mean, I think I wouldn't find this kind of stuff there because queen e6, knight d5. And now there is a knight e7, some beautiful move. Huh? Not, not even sure if it works. So knight 1 e3, after knight d8, knight 1 e3, queen e7, queen e6, uh, knight d5, knight e7. Mm -hmm. But this is too high class, I must tell This is too, uh, I know, like... This Unrealistic, is, uh, yeah, a bit. Yeah, knight e7. Yeah, this is too strong somehow. Okay, this was uh, kind of strange stuff. Anyway, he didn't go knight h2. He went d5, which is very human. He wants to um, close this kind of connection for, for, for the queen to, to go back to f7 and protect the king there. After d5, um, I went knight d8, which is maybe a mistake. Okay, it's a normal oh, really? move, but knight f4 somehow maybe is the best. g3. Oh, I see. And rook <clears throat> a8. Oh, right, we saw this variation in the wow. commentary, but of course, no, no, I mean, obviously computer saw it, not us, but this rook 8 idea. Yeah, it was so pretty. 
Wow, what is this? Why everybody writes that Samai got arrested? Because he's not here. So the only reason he's not here is because he got arrested. So but you know is, he's living a really first, luxurious. First thing you think, yeah, that if if guy was there. <laughs> but he's, you know, I spoke to him today, like yeah. just like I just thought to call him since he's in Pune and he's living such a luxurious life. You should ask him about it next time he comes to the stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want, I want, I want to make a kind of talk about his new life. <laughs> Also, you know, he was in Pune even earlier. I did not know that. Like, obviously, I didn't know him itself, but it seems he did his college in Pune. Yeah, yeah. He said he lived. Uh, he, I mean, he was living there for, yeah, for a long he, time. Uh, yeah. So. And uh, and you started in which city? Me. I was always in Pune. So he was always in Pune. Yeah. But soon you will be in Pune as well, or you are moving somewhere like Samai? No, I'm moving cities. Yes, I'm going to Bombay. And then to Delhi? No. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> Delhi is not. I mean, uh, people in chat will get really offended, but Delhi is not such a great city to live, according to me. It's too. Uh, no, but it's your choice. It's pollution. fine. It's personal choice it's too much pollution and uh, in general if you are like from bombay then you would not be comfortable to live in delhi and vice versa like the culture is very different but pune and bombay the culture is uh, okay also okay wow dogs are barking there is a street fight should i mute myself is it no it's fine it's fine come on uh, don't mute yourself please uh, don't uh, don't play this dangerous game no, but I really need to. I think there is like. No, no, no. Tell me. Okay. First of all, is it uh, is it the dogs or the wolves? <laughs> no, no, just dogs, and I think they are going to get into a fight now. And uh, do they attack you from time to time? No, they don't attack me. They are uh, they're they friendly, they... but uh, they fight a lot between themselves and cause a lot of chaos. But why are they friendly? I mean, do you feed them or what do you do? To avoid any I mean, if you if you feed them, they will be very nice. I don't really like always feed them. Sometimes I do, but wow. I'm a little scared of feeding them because you know you feed one dog and all the dogs come in and they're like you're like really they like surround you, yeah. and uh, it's a little scary then. But you said they're friendly. Yeah, I mean, they are, but I'm not so comfortable. Like when all the dogs around you, yeah. Like imagine like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a pack. Yeah. But if you feed them, uh, what do you give them? Like, uh, do you give them like uh, I don't know, butter chicken or dal maybe or? No, no. I what just kind of give stuff? them chicken? biscuits or something. No, but I mean, what do you what, what do you feed them with? Like, uh, what is it like? No, no. They feed like they are street dogs, so yeah. they are like uh, self sufficient. If I feed them, I... Uh, da, feed they're street dogs biscuits. and they're self-sufficient, like me. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> they're very my independent. Colleagues, my colleagues. Yeah, and so? <laughs> they... Um, yeah, so I just give them some biscuits if I... Yeah, parleji, someone. Yeah, exactly, parleji. There is yes. a biscuit called parleji, which is like the most popular biscuit in India. Mm -hmm. So... Um... So you give them butter uh, chicken is your favorite dish, is it? Like you're always talking about butter chicken. Yeah, yeah, I always take butter street. chicken. Whenever I am in the world, I take butter chicken in Indian restaurant for sure. <laughs> I also <laughs> generally like chicken and uh, especially the butter chicken. I mean the sauce and the naan when um, when you make a dip with the naan like in the sauce and stuff is amazing. Yeah, that's why. Sauce. Uh, what kind of sauce? I mean the sauce that you have there with the butter chicken, you know this the orange one. What's the name? The butter chicken is like uh, in the sauce. What is the what, what is it made? Curry, from? you mean curry? Is it a curry sauce? Yeah, it's usually called curry. Yeah, I, curry, curry. I gravy. Yeah, the orange one. Yeah, the, the one that you have in butter uh, chicken. Somia, do you don't uh, eat butter chicken? Uh, I do. So actually, uh, I didn't have non-veg for like uh, ten. Eight months, I think. No, ten months almost now. Uh, you don't eat chicken. Yeah, for almost ten months, I haven't had non-veg. 
But Because, okay, when I uh, why why, why don't you eat the, why don't you eat the chicken uh, for 10 months? Is it because you were uh, unable to catch it or <laughs> what was the No, basically uh, I, at home everybody's vegetarian and I just thought to eat vegetarian food when I was at home. So uh, and I I'm not eating out, so yeah, mm -hmm. that's the reason. Okay, okay, I see. So uh, so no chicken now for the entire family, right? Yeah, no, no one else is veg, uh, non-veg in my home. Like only, it's only me. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, Devesh says that his chicken is offended now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Devesh. Uh, please uh, <laughs> accept my apologies as usual. Um, so, people say in the chat like Boris Malhotra says that Somia gave up non-veg to drop body fat to seven percent. It's actually it it's true, but you know I think I should get back to eating non-veg. Do you it's do true. you learn Spanish as well? Spanish. Spanish, which is Catalan in this. Uh, not Catalan. Catalan is in uh, in Barcelona, and um, Castilla something in Spain. I think is this called. I yeah I know what Spanish. No, I didn't learn for Ronaldo. I sh you think I should learn Spanish so that I can speak to him. Portuguese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like all stuff like that. No? <laughs> Obrigal. Okay, but um, so you don't eat uh, meat anymore? No, yeah, I don't. And you are vegetarian. When I go abroad, I will eat it. The fish. I mean, it's not the like fish? I stopped eating meat. Huh? The fish. Yeah, yeah. No, no. We, I don't eat any meat when I'm at home because there's just no option of eating meat. So there is no meat at your home, to put it simply. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is it uh, like a deliberate uh, choice or is it how how is it? Yeah, because everybody is vegetarian at home. They don't uh, eat non-vegetarian. And uh, yeah, okay, so cool. Yeah, this is cool. By choice, because okay, in India choice. there is a lot of option, right? We have a lot of vegetables, so we can be vegetarian in some countries. The, there are almost no vegetative vegetables grown like only a few and it, especially in winter there is no vegetable uh, which so countries that's why... which countries are uh, which countries did you want to mention that has no vegetables no i mean very few right like because especially in winter uh, when it's snowing in europe very few vegetables grow right when i was in uh, europe during mm -hmm. winter i saw that most of the vegetables and fruits are imported from Spain because uh, it's a tropical country yeah. and they are not grown in Europe and not in that country as such. Like, for example, when I was in Germany, all the uh, vegetables were imported from Spain or from uh, some other tropical. Country. Yeah, but they usually have it in the supermarkets yeah, around Europe. Like uh... Yeah, yeah, but it's imported. It's not local. That's what I'm saying. Ah, you mean so not that fresh, yeah? Yeah. So and, traditionally, uh, so traditionally, all these vegetarian vegetables, like earlier, obviously there was no not much trade, right? So yeah. that's why the countries became non-vegetarian because of this reason that vegetables were not easily available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, but in India, that problem never existed. So in India, a lot of people are vegetarian because vegetarian. Vegetables are available all year around. There is no nothing like a very severe, very harsh winter or something. I, I thought it's just kind of respectful, uh, respectful towards chicken, but uh, it's uh, not. Yeah, it's just that the, there are a lot of vegetables. Is it? Well, no, no. But if you don't have food, you will be forced to eat meat. No, if you don't have vegetables, like you uh, can't I have food, I'm still eating meat. So it's a. Uh, you know, but that's some people are very bad, like me. Uh, I mean, from time to time. <laughs> are they, are they, it's not about that. Like uh, that's how the con all the cultures. Like that's how the non-vegetarian and vegetarian culture uh, became popular in certain countries, right? Like in whichever country vegetables are easily available, there people are usually vegetarian. Yeah. Not necessary, okay. but true. many people are vegetarian. Yeah. That's so true. whereas in countries where vegetables were not grown or not available throughout the year, most people were non-vegetarian. All everyone was non-vegetarian. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, uh, once again, uh, full respect to, <laughs> to vegetables, to animals, and uh, to vegetarians, <laughs> non vegetarians, uh, pescatarians, and all the others. Just in case, just in case. I love you all. I'm a bad person, but uh, there are a lot of good persons r watching the stream. So please uh, don't get offended in case I say something wrong. Oh I may, I may, I may. For this uh, 55 hours that I'm streaming, I may say something uh, wrong that can offend uh, <laughs> that can offend even my age pawn in this position, which was kind of feeling uncomfortable with you know Wesley attacking it with the queen and the the the, the knight. And you know that I'm the fan of this kind of um, approach when you talk to your pieces. And uh, in this case, this pawn really was really upset about me. Okay, let's see the game. And yes. um, yeah, okay. and I hope that uh, the black pawns uh, will have no problems with Raja. So, so this was the possibility here, knight of four, g3 and rook a8. So you saw it on the stream, you said, right? Yes, 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 we saw it. And GF, Rook A2. Yeah. And what Just was the conclusion? Pretty. No big conclusion because you guys were playing very fast, so there was not much time to uh, analyze. But it, uh, I think the yeah, it looked like Black is much better now. Mm -hmm. But winning, it looks like actually. winning, yeah, for Black. Yeah, because winning, three is the only move, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And now you can just move the queen whenever you want. I mean, wherever you want. Queen a4, queen b3. I mean, everything is okay. And black mm -hmm. is just doing uh, much better. Because the point is that when you move the queen, um, white has a problem with moving their queen somehow because f4 is also hanging. And, uh, you know. e4 is also hanging. Yeah, if queen c1, for example, then he takes f4 and then h5 and f2 is hanging and all that stuff. And if queen d3, the knight can come to c5 attacking e4 and the queen. And the black is yeah. certainly better because of the very strong bishop on b6. Okay, this was, uh, yeah, let's be fair. It would be uh, hard to find. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah everything's okay. You sure? Yeah, yeah, everything's okay. We can send an official letter from the chat asking for you <laughs> to stay awake as much as possible. So, yeah, you, you, don't, you are not going to sleep or you are going to sleep just in case? Because I can easily be alone and the stream and something. I'm awake. But... Don't worry, I'm awake. If I'm sleepy, I'll tell you. Don't worry. Okay, so at I'm 6 a.m. you are fine to go uh, and sleep, yeah? <laughs> yes. It's just enough time. It's okay. Uh, probably yes. to see only this game. Because we, uh, from time to time, I mean, from, uh, from this... <laughs> this uh, game... <laughs> Yes, from, that's that's all. Yeah, for we're one going game, to I think for six hours, seven hours, six hours, six, seven hours will be enough uh, properly to to understand this. this. How, uh, yeah, yeah, this is how you should analyze chess, guys. But for six hours, you should see one game. That's yeah, and how also, I mean, uh, also we can, uh, you know, uh, it's like uh, it's like chess. Uh, it's like talk with uh, Somia, the podcast with Somia, and uh, the history of vegetables as well. We're, we're fine with it, guys. So please uh, support vegetables, uh, uh, eat vegetables, be healthy, and uh, watch this position as much as we analyze it. Six, seven hours, if you have, it's fine. Tell your parents you are doing something good, you are working chess. Nothing bad, online. So, d5. Knight f4, of course, I didn't see this idea. with g3 and rook a8. And um, yeah. knight d f8. I saw that he has enough compensation here when he took on h6 was very natural to me because if queen takes on h6, move uh, 27, then mm -hmm. just rook d7 and rook comes to h7 and uh, I mm -hmm. mean black's position is just very stable mm -hmm. um, and also their piece up. So once mm -hmm. I get my rook to h7 and play knight e7 or knight f4, uh, already I'm dominating in this one. And uh, my queen is right. very well placed on c4, b5 is hanging, bishop on b6 is a piece up for black. Mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there is uh, there is no way actually to uh, to play this position well as white because that is, it's very dangerous. I mean, like the queen h5, let's say, rook h7. I don't know what to do right. here. Knight h6, king g7. Knight f5, king h8. Black is just completely good here. I mean, it's like just winning. So, um, yeah, he took on h6 and I considered this position to be drawish because mm -hmm. I saw that I don't have any other move um, rather than king g7 and g8. Instead, in fact, I could go king h8 here, which is suggested by Compi. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and uh, this position is like... Um, it's good for you, no? After knight f7, king g7. Yeah, but, you know, first of all, what was my concern is knight g4. Because queen h6 okay. is the threat. 
And uh, rook e7, knight takes f6. And I was thinking that white is uh, fear, I mean, you know, the fiercely attacking there with queen h6 and so on. But in fact, it's okay, it's okay with the dog, it's fine. It's, uh, I mean, so many, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. We know that they are very friendly. <laughs> <clears throat> they sound friendly as well. But um, so in this position after knight xf6, uh, there was knight f4. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it seems knight. to be very good for, for black somehow. Yeah, g3, will you play rook g7 or you'll take your rook g7 first, right? Uh, for g3 after knight f4? For g3. Okay, rook g7 is possible, rook f7 is also probably possible, then knight g4, but rook a8 is the idea all the time, it seems. Oh, and yeah, the rook yeah, just yeah, penetrates rook from a2 and then, you know, rook g7, and f2, oh. everything is hanging. Yeah, it seems that black is just completely, I mean, not even fine, they're winning actually. And, um, yeah, I completely forgot about this idea of rook e7, somehow it was uh, bothering me that there is knight xf6 and queen h6. And, uh, of course, knight f7 you have to calculate as well, but then it's more easy, I mean, king g7. Uh, now, if queen h6, there is no mate or nothing because king f7 and h7 is protected by the knight, so it's not it's not the case. So white should take on d8, but okay, taking this, of course, I would be very happy to take like this. And then the knight may come to d7, c5, or knight h7, rook g8, and black's position is very stable, and queen c4 is just picking up all the pawns. Rooks are just useful there on e1 and d1. So, yeah, I was afraid of knight g4, well, let's, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see that this position is so good after knight f6. I didn't see this knight mm -hmm. f4 rook. I mean, the whole point is that I didn't see this knight f4 and rook a8 idea. Rook a8 is very hard to spot, right? Because you I are think it's very, very hard. Yeah, focusing very... on the king side and then... Yeah, you are completely um... focusing on the king side. You don't even expect any other ways. I mean, they're like rook a8, what is this for? And uh, yeah, if I would spot it, yeah. But it was... I mean, let's be fair, even now when looking at the lines, I see that it's... I mean, it's really hard to spot this. So I went knight f8, knight h6, king g7. Also, after rook eight, sorry, one second. On knight f4, g3, rook eight. For rook a1, you'll take and play queen e2, right? Queen e4, maybe, no? Is there. Oh, queen. No, knight is on f6. In that position. Knight g4, rook e7. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, knight f6, knight f6, knight f4, g3. g3. Ah, you mean rook, rook a8, rook a1, yeah, immediately. Yeah, you'll yeah, take, take and play queen e2, right? You can play queen e2, which is also winning, but rook f7 is also winning, it seems. And queen takes c3 as well. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, okay. Somia, are you a tactician by nature or more positional player? No, tactical, but I didn't spot queen e3. No, queen c3. I, it's not about this because, uh, I mean, I'm also tactical, but it doesn't mean that I see queen c3 immediately or something. I'm just uh, surprised that there is queen c3. But in general, you're tactical, yeah? So what's your choice yeah. against d4 and d4 usually? For d4, I play Grandfeld. Okay. And for e4, I play classical Sicilian mainly. What do you mean by classical Sicilian? E4, C5, and F3, knight C6, D4, CD, knight into D4, knight F6, knight C3, D6. Ah, ah D6? Yes. Well, this you will have to change clearly. <laughs> well, it's impossible to play this on the high level. I mean, in general, like on the women's high level as well. I mean, this is really dangerous. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, you get all the problems yeah, with this uh, bishop G5, F6 and all that stuff or... And I like it. Yeah, maybe. No, no, right. like it uh, doesn't work in chess yet. <laughs> because I also like uh, King Sinjin, but from time to time against some players and against specific preparation, uh, mm -hmm. it's a problem. And uh, you, you have to work, uh, I mean, yeah, to get to the top, you have to change from time to time. Unfortunately, it's not about liking, yeah. It's hard. I, will, I uh, used to play Kings Indian, uh, only Kings Indian until 2008 against D4. Only Kings Indian. Then I lost a very, okay, I of course lost many games, but then one was a very, very painful loss and I just stopped playing it. Actually, it was not even because of the opening. Like I actually got a very good opening uh, position after the opening, but that mm -hmm. loss had such bad memories. I was like, I'm never playing. <laughs> but I like it actually, Kings Indian. But now it's hard to go back. Okay, I'll... I mean, I can, but it's just that I started playing this grand film, so. Yeah, guys, please, uh, to clear all misunderstanding, uh, uh, big love. To no, no, King's Indian is awesome. <laughs> King's Indian is awesome. It's just that I started playing grand field and so No, I no, no, playing. guys, I mean, uh, please, I mean, the um, big love to all the openings, big love to both colors in chess and uh, super respect to uh, positional players, tactical players, 
universal what players happened? and everyone else. And everyone Why else. Why are you clarifying so much? Like, just what's in case, up with you just today? In case, just in case. <laughs> any gambits, any sacrifices, pieces, knights, bishops, pawns, rooks, queens, and kings. And uh, boards of different colors, uh, positions, uh, tournaments, organizers, chess players, friends, enemies, frenemies, and uh, families, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I love you all and uh, respect you all, especially if you do something for chess. And if you don't do anything for chess as well, I love you. So, okay, <laughs> let's let's uh, move forward. Um, yeah. So there was a game. Um, there was a game played by us, and after King g7, Knight f5, King g8. I saw Knight h6, and he's making a draw. But mm -hmm. um, after King g8, Knight h6, King g7. Mm, he didn't he make went, a draw. Knight f5, King g8, and he went Knight h2 here, trying to play for yeah. a win. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I wasn't that happy about mm -hmm. this. I mean, I cannot say that, oh, I was expecting him to go for all in and uh, I saw that I'm doing well. No, not mm -hmm. at all. I was kind mm -hmm. of um, still very, how to say, shaky about my position because the time was running. You know, this knight h2, I mean, uh, white's, white's position, the position of white's king is very stable. This is very mm -hmm. important as well to understand. And mm -hmm. uh, the fact that you have to oppose this kind of uh, stability of white's king and you have like more or less all of your, um, uh, you know, king's, uh, you know, king's position structure destroyed there, more or less. The queen h6, knight g4, like kind of spoiled structure there. Knight is on f5, in a, uh, you know, attacking from time to time. Mm -hmm. So it was not that pleasant to, to, meet, it as, to meet this attack in a, in a rapid game. And uh, yeah, so in this position... Knight, knight f4 h2. is only more, right? Knight f4. Or rook d7 also works. I think. Knight g4. Knight yeah, knight f4 is what I played. Yeah. Uh, but actually, I must tell you that all the other moves are losing here, Compi shows. Let's say rook knight d7. Knight f4 is only more. Yeah, rook oh, d7, okay. knight g4, knight h7. Mm -hmm. And there is a very strong move of g3 here. What? Just, g3? Uh, yeah, and probably h4, h5 is coming, and queen h6 is coming. Okay. Very dangerous for black. Okay. Wow. Um, oh, wow. Okay. They say that 40% of the Indian population is being vegetarian. Um, yeah. Not too many other, now he's saying. <laughs> there is a guy called I am Ninad and he says I'm offended at everything Raja says. <laughs> Guys, please. Ritesh Boral, Raja, please call Gustav. Who's Gustav? Gustav. <laughs> <laughs> and they ask also, what did we have for dinner? What did you have for dinner? Me? Yeah. I had rice. Rice and some curry. That's it? No, it was actually a lot. I also had like two types of rice. One was like normal plain rice and one was coconut rice. What did you have? And that's it? I didn't have anything, but that's it? <laughs> no, seriously, I didn't, yeah. I didn't uh, have dinner. So you had just the rice and that's it? Rice and curry. Okay, but you don't drink coffee and tea. No, I do. I had coffee as well. You have coffee as well? Yeah. But how is that possible that you have uh, such a white tea then? If you drink coffee. It, it's like a lot of light now. See, there are two tube lights and this camera ah, is really awesome. It's the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to have the good tea, you, you should have a good light. Yeah, a lot of light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting advice from you. <laughs> so Tubelight is dentist. the best so uh, the filter. Tubelight is the best filter. You don't need all these Instagram filters if you have tube light. Mm -hmm. So next time I don't go to my dentist, I will say just, I mean, I will get the good light and uh, yes. see you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, 
So Mia, are you playing Counter Strike? No, no, I I don't. You play? Or some of your friends maybe? No, I'm just starting. Yeah, yeah. I, I think played everyone I played. A, everyone in 11th and 12th standard plays Counter Strike. Where? Uh, I mean, in India, uh, we have a different schooling system. So uh, let's say basically at the age of 16 and 17, everyone plays Counter Strike. I think all the boys in college. All the boys in college they play Counter Strike. Yeah, like it's their favorite uh, pastime. I feel. I mean, there is a college next to my house, and uh, so there are. There used to be a lot of. Uh, okay, nowadays everyone has a phone and uh, come laptop and everything. But like ten years ago, basically there used to be these computer cafes, yeah, near yeah. my house, and yeah, yeah, they used yeah. to be full the whole time with all like these internet boys cafes, playing. something like that. Yeah. yeah, internet cafes, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, they used to be full the whole time with all these boys playing Counter Strike. And is there a good light in this <laughs> cafe? Is there a good light? Yeah, I'm just wondering if all all, all of the people that are playing Counter Strike had a good lights have, and uh, have were... white teeth. Yeah, and white teeth and good teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I never entered these cafes. <laughs> I never played Counter Strike. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So uh, this is uh, so okay. Uh, there are internet cafes. Uh, there are college. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, all these college students and stuff. They all yeah. play Counter Strike. They all have good lights, good teas, and uh -huh. um, you didn't play. No, I didn't. Why didn't you play with them? I I I was never interested in computer games, so I didn't. But what did you do? I mean, except chess. It's 10 years ago, I think, no, 20, 15 years ago. Okay, uh, it doesn't matter. It was uh, not necessary. I was not asking about uh, how many years have passed, but still. But what <laughs> no, but like at 16 and 17, what was I doing? Um, I was going to college mm -hmm. and then I was uh, playing chess and that's it. Okay, it's more or less I don't, my I don't remember. I was wasting a lot of time, of course. <laughs> wasting for what like chess no no no, not with chess just generally you waste a lot of time right in college when you are at that i mean i don't know i, mean, I still waste I a lot of time that. so that's why i don't know exactly what you are talking about because i still waste a, a lot of time <laughs> I mean, and uh so it's not about college at all just, it's about laziness the time just passes and you're like oh okay gone two hours gone yeah, but it depends also if you feel bad about the time that has passed. I mean, or if you feel that uh, you really uh, did nothing, but it was cool. You see what I mean? Like from time to time, let's say. Actually, day, you know, yeah. actually, you know, to be very honest, I think 16 and 17, I really practiced a lot because until 15, uh, I was in school, right? Mm -hmm. I, until 14 or 15, I was in school and uh, I used to... Uh, I used to attend school and uh, study a lot. Like there was simply no, not much time for chess. So when I went to college, I actually got a lot of time to train because in college, the attendance is not very strict. You can bunk classes. It's okay. So it's you were, very you were chess instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in college, okay. The first six months I attended college very regularly. I was very sincere I was uh, because I was still in that school mindset. Yeah. Like you have to attend your college and everything. And then I realized, okay, it's okay to bunk every, anybody, everyone is bunking classes. Nobody cares. So I also started to bunk and work on chess instead. Uh, this is okay. I mean, I, uh, this is not okay, guys. I mean, in case uh, school is uh, probably good for you. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And um, in Azerbaijan, you have to attend college or you can bunk the classes because in uh basically i studied commerce first and then law so when i was studying commerce uh the attendance was not very strict you can just bunk your classes and it's okay nobody cares but in certain courses like let's say engineering or law the attendance is very strict so i when i was studying law i lost a lot of marks because of attendance like i lost like there were marks for attendance as well, which I got, I got zero in them basically. So you are talking about you have the, to be... uh, like you are talking about the university more or less, yeah? Yeah, 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 university. Yeah, yes. normally you have to attend, otherwise you will be like out of the university at some point. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. In every course, yeah? In every course. Yeah, yeah, I think it's very... Doesn't it's matter strict, which yeah. course it is. Yeah, I think... Okay. It, yeah, I mean, if there is a course where you don't have to go to the university, it's, there, there are some as well, yeah? You know that they study, like, uh, what what is the word for that? Uh, when you don't have to attend, you, you can... What is the word for that? You see, external, you see I mean? external correspondence. External, yeah, is it external? Correspondence course. Correspondence course or something like that, yeah. Yeah. And uh, then, yeah, you, you, you can, I mean, but uh, normally it's uh, like mandatory to do that. So is there a percentage for attendance, like 75% or something? I think more. I mean, uh, I don't know how, oh, how it happens in the real life, but uh, certainly more, I think. Like, I mean, you can, I mean, you can, uh, I mean, you cannot, I mean, you, you, you may not attend some of the courses at some point, but like a few days or something, but not like uh, all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, otherwise you will be out of the university normally. I mean, they will talk to your parents. They, I mean, they'll talk to you and all that stuff, I think, at some point. Okay. Yeah, so you attended college? Generally Raja. quite strict. No, at some point I've just uh, skipped most, uh, most of the stuff and it was like like this external and corresponding stuff. And I was okay. already a chess professional. It was very different. Okay. But uh, still, yeah, I mean, still I knew some stuff and so on. It was kind of learning. It was just fun, yeah, for me. But so uh, of course did... I was a chess professional since a very early age. So it was... Uh, clearly my profession already was clear that I'm, I'm professional there so yeah so you but, did uh, did your law you studied law right so you did it in correspondence yeah from, from at some point yeah started to do that this way yeah mostly exams and stuff so that i was preparing for and that's it and how many years was the course like three years no we years? have like four years and one and a half is the masters oh wow okay yeah so uh, five and a half years if i would attend all the courses uh i would play batches in few months yeah, of course. even though i respect education education i respect yeah but um i mean uh what do you think in general like uh you you like the the, the system yeah i mean the system of uh, like educational system and so on Actually, you know, this year they really improved the educational system. Like uh, you can actually uh, study. Uh, they, they made a lot of changes. I'm, uh, I've read about it. Like it was few months ago. Uh, basically, you can take subjects from other courses and study them instead of certain subjects in your course. Because when I was studying, the courses were very like strict. So if let's say I took commerce. Mm -hmm. And I have to not only study business and commerce, but also certain other uh, topics, which might not be interesting for me. And there might be some topics from other streams, like let's say arts, uh, which I would like to study, but now I can't study them because I already chose commerce. So this year they made a lot of changes in the educational system that you can actually take courses from the other streams and study them instead mm -hmm. of the uh, like it's become very flexible now and i think that's really cool i i wish i had this option when i was studying but uh, do you feel like let's say for example if you're a chess professional and you can be a chess professional you should just uh, uh skip studying and just get into your profession like full time or is it um, that you lack something when you don't uh, get the proper education in this case for me, it was important to study, but I think it depends on the person. Uh, in India, a lot of sports persons, they don't really, uh, they, you know, uh, focus on their profession and they uh, only attend, uh, they only study for the, like they only give exams. They don't really uh, attend college or they don't attend school as well. They get a lot of uh, concession you know like their schools are very like okay you go and play chess you don't need to attend school you can only give exams all these uh, options exist but for me it was important i don't know i don't know so simple question then you would prefer to be like uh, well educated in terms of like uh, fantastically educated i know stanford what is there like the best university in the world and uh, have the master's degree in the best field whatever you decide or uh, the world champion? World champion, of course. Yeah, chess world champion, yeah? Yes. You sure? Yes. Uh, because of what? Is it because of the crown? No, but like, uh, Feeling that you are stronger than anyone else in the world? Or what is it like? Because that is what 
you like to do right like that i mean i want to be good at chess that is the main thing right so you prefer chess to any other profession in general yes clearly like not uh, even looking at that i mean you had an education and all that stuff yeah no because i had the choice to do something in my education and i already decided not to do it no so i already made that decision okay okay so uh <laughs> your point is now like, it's like interrogation you know it's like no it's not interrogation come on first of all there uh, the light you put yourself <laughs> normally when they're interrogating they bring their own light and stuff <laughs> and uh, they make you tell the things you don't want to say and in, in fact here is just asking you can say i don't want to answer this and stuff it's clear what kind of interrogation yeah <laughs> thank you Somia. you are trying to also uh, bring me in a bad situation like now i will be like interrogator raja or some, something like that you know it's something they will tell me again why are you interrogating Somia? she wanted to sleep no she said I, I asked immediately that she doesn't want to sleep she wants to uh, to be on the stream and discuss chess and life seemingly now and um, okay okay bad cop offended and uh, interrogation offended. <laughs> Raja Very interview offended. OP. No, it's like uh, it's a chess podcast. New, new new way of. I will I will announce it as a chess podcast, and uh, we will talk about all all kind of stuff. Uh, fake tea, Raja. I mean, I have to take the tea as well. Yeah, but uh, a bit later maybe. So let's see the game till the end, and then. Um, so I mean, it's okay that I'm asking this question because if if they are not okay, you can just tell me immediately. Not no, after. no, no, I, I, I was just joking, Raja. No, no. You know, yeah, mm. you, you did like, you know, you, you were answering like for one hour, and then you said, "What is this interrogation?" You know, I couldn't stop no, you when you were because, explaining. No, because you no, oh, like the questions are not ending, so I was just like. Uh, okay, actually, I, now. Asked, I asked like three questions, but received an answer oh. for two hours. So I was just very happy to uh, listen to you, and uh, you know. Bye. Uh, okay, I, <laughs> about your life because all the time I come to the streams there is before a4 g4 h5 and this kind of stuff and for five hours and uh, from time to time it's interesting to uh, certainly I mean listen to interesting people and uh, as you you are interesting for sure and not only to me but also for the audience I'm sure they want uh, to know more about your life uh, which exact road you will take from I mean from Pune to Mumbai let's say uh, <laughs> there are different roads from Pune to Mumbai <laughs> yeah yeah there are oh no there is actually there are two roads but there is uh, mainly just one road everyone takes that road what is it called it's the fastest road it's called expressway expressway <laughs> for the cars <laughs> yeah yeah for the cars because express usually is for the trains no like in europe i'd say no the it it's a very fast uh, highway, like fast lane road compared to what was there earlier. Much, much faster than what was earlier. So it's called expressway. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. Let's see the game then, because uh, otherwise, as you said, you feel interrogated. And um... no, Guys, uh, did you feel it was an interrogation or you feel it was uh, like just a friendly talk about life and chess? Let's see the chat. Toast with roast, they say. Less traffic, <laughs> no sir talking. Traffic jam offended, highway offended. Gotcha. So by the way, uh, I wanted to ask you, like when you, uh, okay, right now though you're streaming and all that, but uh, earlier when you were not streaming and you used to be asked all these post game interviews, yeah? Or let's say like just a journalist comes to interview you. Yeah. You used to feel comfortable or you used to feel like you're being interrogated? Like on the tournaments or online? No, generally, yeah, in tournaments or like, let's say after the tournament, sometimes the journalist comes and... No, I feel okay. I feel okay. I mean, it's normal. like, uh, just I don't okay. like to say the same thing 50 times. Let's say, for example, if the game finished, if I have to explain mm -hmm. the game or uh, give the analysis to the game, like to 10 different people, the uh -huh. same kind of words. This is kind of strange. That's why I ask usually uh, them to, to, to come together and like so that I answer immediately and they can, I mean, I don't know, either write it down or erase it <laughs> if not, they don't like the answer. So mm -hmm. uh, the point is that when you come, let's say, for, to, to one journalist and you answer the question about the game, you're explaining all the lines, like 50 lines, and you're emotional after the game. And then the other mm -hmm. one comes and asks the same question. This is the problem. Mm -hmm. 
this is a bit problematic but otherwise no problems like let's let's say if it's a press conference then it's fine completely because everybody uh, more or less hears the same answer which uh which make people understand exactly what, what was the case and that's it and don't ask it like 50 times this is the only thing but of course otherwise i'm just fine with it yeah i don't feel oh uh, no i don't feel interrogated no i mean uh yeah i don't feel interrogated of course um uh yeah i mean of course if there are too many questions or you are tired or something then maybe but uh if you are kind of in a good mood maybe you won a game especially or something and then you want to like express yourself i think yeah just no problems at all fine completely fine with it you feel interrogated if somebody asks you the questions about the game or like uh yeah, yeah. Ramesh, i used to say. feel very uncomfortable now this year i started to change my mindset but like earlier if anyone asked me for like any interview or anything i used to always say like my first answer would be no <laughs> like i would feel very un uncomfortable but for example know. if it's like the captain of the team what if it's the captain, captain of the of team yeah not a not a journalist like a, a journalist yeah the captain of I the team let's say comes and says i mean is there a, like there is a one captain for both teams or two captains women and men there are different captains different so the one that uh, that is for for um, the women's team he comes and he says like uh, what he says uh, gives you a lot of questions and asks why didn't you play this or that how do you feel about no it? no no but that's not an interview no that's just a conversation yeah, i meant as a yeah like when journalists approach you they ask you uh, so many questions and then it's printed in the paper the next day so is it a indian feel... uh, indian uh, journalists or uh, the ones that are on the tournament indian journalist or tournament journalist i don't know it's okay. the same no okay. no but it depends yeah because i mean uh, because for 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 example let's say if you are having a journalist from your country and uh, uh, I mean you have to keep a bit I mean more more of your emotions you have to keep and just reply in a, in a very nice manner and sometimes for example me when I hear the others I mean I do a lot of jokes and stuff if it's like a international journalist and so on a bit more a bit more um, uh, how to say feeling like a bit more responsibility when it's uh, like Azerbaijanis uh, journalists for example when they ask me something uh, and I feel I have to be a bit uh, more kind of cautious in a good way cautious in a good way like not to say uh some strange stuff because I, I i mean my strange jokes i misunderstood most of the time so it's fine i'm i'm used to it and i keep kind of control over my emotions in that case but generally i prefer as i said the the press conference where the joke is a joke and everybody can uh, you know publish it or not publish it and they decide themselves mm -hmm. so it's kind of a bit different but uh, once again if if somebody is approaching you and saying you some things like um or like too many questions or no. from time to time you know there are kind of inappropriate questions because for, for example the person doesn't understand chess that well and then asks you something and uh, you are uncomfortable because you have to like explain everything from the scratch which is hard and uh, this is also sometimes when you are tired or you play the hard game this is kind of complicated so uh, yeah but usually i prefer the press conferences where you just answer once one question and everybody can write down the answer and then uh, ask some other questions. It's easier for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, okay, okay, let's see the game. Otherwise, we will never finish this position. <laughs> yes. So, Rook D7 was uh, kind of possible. <laughs> knight G4. Uh, knight it's already G3. next day in India, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, you will go <laughs> at, uh, to sleep at 6, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm just saying it's already next day in India, so already two days we are seeing the same game. So. Yeah, already yeah. not the end game yet. Uh, Somi, I know you are tired, mm. but it's not the end game. No, yeah, no, no, I'm not tired, Raja. But you said it's end yes. game. Or game? No, said. I said same game. For ah, two same days. game. I saw that you said this end game. Okay, so night. Okay, so I've played the knight of four. After knight h two, when he just declined to take a draw here, knight of four. Knight g4, because if he would go for g3, then knight h3, king g2, and uh, I can just take on f2, and uh, nothing changed much, knight still cannot come to g4, rook cannot move from e1 because e4 is hanging, and rook d7, h7 is coming to protect the entire position of of, mm -hmm. uh, of the king. So here, mm -hmm. like, 
Maybe rook h7, yeah. Queen g5 and king f7. And I'm escaping all these checks. Takes. D1 is hanging, I guess. Yeah, knight d1. Black is winning. Oh, that's really cool. Oh. So, do you see he didn't go? He went knight g4, which is right, attacking f6. Knight h7, also very natural, because the knight uh, not only defends f6, but also is coming back into play. So, uh, threatens knight g4 against g3 from time to time. And exactly here, let's say he went g3. And uh, I went knight g5. So, the point is that if he takes on f4, the knight f3, and uh, black just captures the queen. Um, so, he goes, uh, maybe king h1 was more to the point, from practical point of view, king h1. Because I would have to find out, out the, you know, knight f, f h3 here. Which is not that easy. Move 34. Then maybe king g2. Posing some kind of practical problems to black. I have to find the best moves. Let's say king f7. Um, okay, not that hard, let's be fair. But first, here for example, after king h1, to find that knight f takes h3 is the best move. is not that easy, let's be fair. Yeah. What is this knight f h3, king g2, king f7? Yeah, he goes there, and I'm not sure what white has to do here. Uh, maybe some rook h1, but then maybe rook h8, simply, no? Oh, queen takes e4, of course, is here. Yeah, it's just just bad. Yeah, so king f7, black is... Just no move for white, actually. Just no move. Completely no move. It's just winning. So, um, yeah, g3... Knight g5, knight h4, so he protects against the knight f3 check. Here I made a mistake. Here I was completely winning after knight f3, f h3, king g2 and king f7. And the rook just comes to h8. So let's say knight h6. King just uh, goes here. That, that's what I missed actually. That king can just stay on g7 and the 8 and it's winning. Because f2 is hanging all the time. So here for example I could play this. Knight 6 f5, king g7, knight 6 f5 and king f8. And uh, white runs out of checks. E4 is hanging, F2 is hanging, everything is hanging. And rook A8 that I missed, uh, that is always there. I mean, it's always just coming to A8 and black is just doing very well. So instead I went king F7. It seemed natural to me, so I'm opening up the lines on G and H. And after G takes F4, I will take on H3 and F4. I saw this winning. That's what I saw. So G takes F4, knight H3, all natural. King H2, even though... Compi shows that king g2 is better here. And uh, maybe that's the case. So knight takes f4 and king f3. Completely escaped my attention here. I mean, like, I didn't see it at all. Rook h8, rook h1. Um, what? Okay. Yeah. And what is this so position? It's you're hard saying king f7 is not the best move. Because king of this line. is not a good move, yeah. Yeah. I just had to take on h3 and play, uh, then play king f7 without sacrificing okay. the knight. Uh -huh. Because in this position it seems that, I don't know, I didn't check on the on the uh, big compi, like the strong engine. But uh -huh. the engine from the side shows that this position is uh, unclear, slightly, slightly better for black maybe. And um, after king g2, knight takes f4. After g takes, I mean king f7, gf, knight h3, king g2, knight f4, king f3, rook h8, rook h1. And... Uh, it seems that it's not that easy to win this as black. I mean, c6 is possible. Trying to attack d5, uh, trying to get um, advantage of this king on f3. Maybe c6 is... Uh, I mean, it's dangerous for, for, for white, let's be fair, because c takes d5 is coming, e4. This king is kind of vulnerable there on f3. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, compi shows it's better for black. Still better. Can't you play something like rook a8 now, after rook h1? You can, but uh, if knight f5, for example? Then you take on... Uh, or maybe you take and pray. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Did you say take and pray? Yes. Yes, maybe you take and pray, but... Uh, <laughs> no, no, sure it doesn't it look good. Here. It doesn't look good, sorry. Yeah, no, I was thinking rook h1, rook h1, rook h3, but rook h I mean, if you I take, mean... for sure, you have to pray already. After rook takes h1, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. there's no other way, because uh, tactic doesn't help, nothing, and only maybe maybe some uh, some wisdom no, no, from no, above. No, it's not good. Yeah. You can go after knight f5, some, some rook a4, attacking e4. This ah, is rook possible, a4. but ah. yeah, knight fh6 only moves as well for white. I mean, it's not easy, of course. What? 
Wow, that's pretty. Knight of H6, King F8, okay. Knight F6. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's crazy. Supporting. I mean. And now, now, what if you play Rook A3? You can mm, or you can't? You can, yeah, you can. You can, but then maybe a Rook C1 even. Because there is no direct threat yet. But Bishop D4 or something. Oh. Okay, I don't know. Strange it's position. Up. There is King G4 or something that wins for white. But I mean, it just escapes. Yeah, finally. I mean, it's not no mate there. Uh -huh. Yeah, because King will come to probably, I don't know where it will come. Yeah, it's a crazy position, actually. Knight D7 is in the air with ID Knight of 5 and Rook H8 at some point. But Knight D7, maybe you can go King E8. But hard to play. I mean, Rook C3, Rook A1. And knight of five is a threat in general for white. Then our king is actually there on f8 is kind of, I mean, kind of tricky to play with such king as well. Right. <clears throat> yeah. So. Um, okay. So. Okay. So take and pray didn't work here, but I mean, uh, certainly black is doing okay in general. But I mean, okay, three maybe is too much. Maybe there is some rook a2 as well. I mean, rook a2 maybe nor more normal instead of move 41 rook a2. Knight d7. Ah, rook a2. Yeah, okay. king e8, knight b6. Wow. And then queen e3 is there. After queen knight b3. B6. Knight, knight b6, queen b3. <laughs> yeah. Why? And now only move is queen e1. What? Because okay. if, you go, if you go queen e3 after queen b3, there is rook takes yeah. h6. Oh, okay. Yeah, rook h6, okay. queen d1. And otherwise the knight is trapped because I'm threatening queen takes d1 or rook h3 check. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, comp is amazing. So queen e1 after queen b3. It's a mess. It's a, like rook f8, knight f5, rook e2. I don't know what's going on. Rook h7 only move. <laughs> <laughs> that knight on b6 is hanging no but look like rook h5 moves. rook h5 rook, uh, rook h7 rook f5 rook a1 okay fine oh my god what is this what's up what wow. is this wow and rook okay yeah. Wow. Rook f7 only move. Oh wow, rook h7 was so pretty. Like rook e1, rook e7, and uh, king d8, rook d7, king e8, knight g7, mate. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> rook a8 check after rook f7. So rook f7, rook a8. Uh -huh. King e7. Knight c8 check, king f6. Rook f7, <laughs> otherwise white is lost. King f7. Queen h1. Okay, well, what is happening? <laughs> Queen c3 or not? Queen c3, king g4, no check, huh? Queen c3, king g4, knight h3. Okay. And then there is queen f3 check, but there is knight h3 instead of queen c3. Okay, <laughs> And so why, why has to go king e2, <laughs> queen c2, king e3, queen c3, king... Um, E2 back. Knight f4. Knight f4. King d1. It will be checked or it won't be. Queen d3, Queen d3 king, king c1, king knight c1. e2. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it will be checkmate. Knight no. e2, king b2, Queen c3 and it's a draw. Yeah. Oh, it's a draw. Okay. But it's, uh, you understand that half of, this, uh, half of this idea is impossible to find simply. I mean, like yeah. in the practical rapid game especially. Yeah, of course you saw all this. And he also saw all this. That's why he did not play King G2. I mean, actually, if he would see this, I mean, he would certainly go King G2. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, clearly he didn't. And I didn't any, I mean, didn't see anything here. So King H2, he went, move uh, 36. Knight takes F4. And now the position is lost, and it seems like that it's lost, because, I mean, the king is very vulnerable there on H2. Like, very weak and opened. So, Knight takes F4. Knight H6. Here I felt that I'm winning, but I was not sure how. So, King E7. Rook g1, 
move 38, king d7. I wanted to get rid of any checks and just uh, destroy the king there on h2, which is mm -hmm. not the best move. I had to go here, I think, something else, rook a8, but it was hard to find. Okay, so king d7, rook a1. Had to go rook a7 here. Instead of, I've made the, like rook e7, there is some queen d1, some stuff like that, strange position. And maybe mm -hmm. actually close to a draw because idea is queen g4 check. But mm -hmm. um, uh, there was some move instead of this. Uh, king e7, rook g1. No, king d7, rook a1. And I, yeah, I went queen e4 here. Very natural. And uh, he didn't spot a great move here, queen d1. Move yeah, you mentioned this in the yeah. post game. Yeah, because I was I was afraid of this kind of stuff because queen g4 was coming and you know like a bit the king is uh, rook g7, queen g4, everything is coming after queen d1. So I have to right. find some kind of draw there, and not that easy. Can you well. play knight e2? Ah, no, rook g4 anyway. Okay. Not rook g4. Rook, rook g4 is also good, but rook a4 is also strong. Ah, rook a4. Okay. A lot of a lot of like kind of tactical ideas here that I mean uh, geometry. Yeah, and then I have to just go maybe queen e two and uh, takes takes rook g seven. Queen d one. Yeah, actually not not rook, rook seven immediately. Rook e seven. Rook takes e seven. Mm, king e seven. Knight g six. Check. Wow. Wow. Oh, there is a beautiful line. Oh. Uh, do you see this queen d1? Uh, queen e2? Yeah, yeah, rook yeah. Rook g7, rook e7, yeah. rook e7, king e7. Yeah. Knight g6. Yeah. King d7, king. let's say. Huh? Knight g4. If queen d1, knight f6. Oh, king c8, rook a8. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Oh my god. So knight g4, and now king e8. Maybe c6 is also possible. King e8. Knight g for king e8. Yeah, knight f4, queen d1, rook d1 probably, yeah. And it takes yep. f4. And this maybe and ends in a draw, but it's like amazing, yeah, I don't know. It's like so hard, all of this stuff. Yeah. Wow. So what was the way to prevent this queen d1 stuff? You could have played a... Rook e7 instead of, uh, no, rook, what did you have to play? Instead of king d7, Some something, Some rook a8 right? was there, rook a8. Rook a8, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, rook a8 maybe was strong. And the point is that now I have to, uh, I have vacated, vacated the, the square d8 for the king. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about all the stuff of rook a1, a8. Mm -hmm. And instead, uh, he just went rook g1, I went king d7, rook a1, queen d4. And now he had to go, as we said, uh, queen d1, very strong move. But not easy, let's be fair, because knight e2 is also invisible that you have this rook g4, rook a4. And uh, in general, it's not that easy to find. So he went uh, the most natural knight 4 f5, trying to play rook g7 next and mate me. But, it's not uh, easy at all, right? Because he's attacking so he's thinking about forward moves no like queen d like he's trying he wants to play like bring all his yeah, pieces clearly. right yeah clearly so um what they say spider on the wall there is uh in your location no 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 just to distract no there is no spider you sure yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't want uh, you to be eaten by the spider in the <laughs> life uh I'm, by the way, not scared of insects. Like, I know. Yeah, that I understand. I mean, I'm not scared of insects, not scared of snakes until they bite. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know the story. I am, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm brave. But then, you know, like, chank. But there, are, there is, first of all, no spider. And even if it was there, I don't care about it. So it's okay. Yeah, but I mean, like, just a moment and then, uh, you know, you get uh, uh, bitten by something and then, you know. Who is this Dang. guy analyzing chess? Uh, fake Raja Babu or some chat is there. Giant Slayer says. <laughs> Somia, Somia Sleepy OP. No, no, no. I'm not sleepy. I'm, I don't know. Today, no makeup. That's why I'm looking so like tired. That's all. There is a lot of makeup that you use usually for streams? 
Or is it only for chest 24? <laughs> it was a joke. Uh, no, no. Um, I'm actually not at all sleepy. I don't know why chat keeps saying that. And is there, uh, is there, uh, they say also there is a dog on your, on your uh, wall. <laughs> on my wall? Barking. But there is a dog on the street, it's barking. Oh, I don't know, they're, they're, they're saying that, yeah. They say, Raja, fix your Do hair. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? Uh, yeah, there is in the summer house, farmhouse or whatever you call it. Uh-huh. And uh, there is a dog, but uh, it's not that, like, uh, I don't know how exactly to call it. It's like... Uh, it's not like exactly your dog, like exactly your dog. You see what I mean? It's like uh, grandparents of my daughter and so on, like all this stuff. But it's like complicated. And uh, like my own dog that I, I mean, I was uh, raising the dog and stuff, like playing from, from, from childhood. I don't have, yeah. I don't have the, this kind of pet that was always but... with you since, uh, since it was like a puppy. Oh, really? So this... Uh... This dog of yours, it's your family dog, right? Yeah, let's let's call it a family dog, yeah. So it doesn't listen to you? Or um, does it? Well, I mean, depends. Depends what I say, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like... Uh, it's like some of my friends, yeah. I mean, it's like uh, they don't listen to me, uh, but depends. Yeah. If I start to shout or something, uh, they say, oh, what did you say? And then like, yeah. I cannot be too harsh, so uh, it ends uh, okay for everyone all the time. So the dog knows that I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not that aggressive and mm -hmm. uh, doesn't listen to me that well as to other aggressive, more aggressive people than me. Let's let's call it this way. So um, they say Ronaldo and Wall, Somia. <laughs> Cristiano. Not, I actually not, not did the, have a Ronaldo, Ronaldo poster. Ronaldo. Do you know? There used to be a Ronaldo poster on this wall. Because I started streaming, I removed it. Like, I was like, it's too much. <laughs> like, I can't. Is it because you started streaming? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, otherwise I had a poster on my wall. Mm -hmm. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. But uh, it's, it's only because of streaming, yeah? So they're, they actually are good guessers, all the chat. They're good guessers. I agree, yeah. I agree. But uh, I saw that someone was jealous and you, you took out the Ronaldo out of that. <laughs> no, no, no. Nobody was jealous. Okay, okay. So, um, Lewandowski OP. <laughs> they say, come on, don't, don't get her started with Ronaldo. <laughs> Messi offended. Um, what is there? <laughs> By the way, do you know one? one thing it was so funny uh i had put up this post okay on my channel that uh, uh like i i wanted to play like just like play with my subs kind of post and it yeah. was like uh it was just a joke that if uh, someone plays with ronaldo picture or his name mm -hmm. then uh high, higher chances of me selecting that person okay to play yeah. against just a joke and uh, 1,000 people unsubscribed. <laughs> Do you know that? Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's the case. <laughs> they were so offended and they were like, Messi is the best. We are, we are like so offended. Of course, of course. No, but especially in Spain, you know, it's like uh, when they play all the time, like the Real Madrid against Barcelona, it uh, depends in which, par in, in which part of Spain you are and uh, whatever you say is really affects your dinner or something like most of the stuff. Because uh, in some parts, like, let's say, for example, if you say you're a fan of something, I mean, one, I mean, uh -huh. you can say, let's say, I, I'm not following football that much or stuff, and then they're fine with it. But if you say, let's say, in uh, Catalan, like the Catalan part, like where they speak Catalan language and uh, they are like Barcelona, Barcelona's fan, mm -hmm. uh, they mm -hmm. tell you that, uh, OK, uh, I mean, and so on, who, who are you rooting for? And so you say, I'm far from football, it's fine. But if you say something like, I mean, you, you mix up things and you say like you are for, for, for some other club, like uh, Real Madrid, let's say, especially when they have this uh, El Clasicos and stuff, then it's like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, then it's really complicated. Yeah, only thing uh, that you can get uh, of this with, I mean, it's like uh, if you're like a foreigner, of course, and so on. Otherwise, they, okay, Sp Spaniards, of course, they know that it's, it's the case with these clubs, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's complicated because they really take it super seriously. I mean, this El Clasicos, it's like the national... Uh, like national fight yeah, between these two clubs and it's, it's very cool but i like both sides of spain and uh you know a lot of friends from from, from both sides and uh, let's say for example when you're in barcelona if you say like you are spanish they say no i'm catalan or something like this all the time 
uh, throughout the years when I was a kid, they were telling us. And I couldn't understand uh, why, why is it that important. But for me, it was all Spain. Yeah, Madrid and Barcelona for us is Spain. We, we do not we do not separate yeah. it more or less. But yeah. for them, they're like proudly saying like, I'm Catalan, I'm this, I'm Basque, I'm this and so on. They say a lot of stuff. So, um, I mean, uh, yeah, so the Sp Spain also, they have like kind of regions that uh, that are very serious about this kind of stuff, like especially this matches, Barcelona and uh, Real Madrid, El Clasico stuff. Yeah, it's cool to watch when you are there because, I mean, when, when there is a goal by the team that they support, it's like a lot of like uh, shouting. Have you been to Spain uh, during the El Clasico ever? Or have yeah, you been to Spain? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You yes, have been to Spain? Yes, yes. Yeah, during yes, El Clasicos yes, yes. as well? El Clasico. Yeah. No, I haven't yeah. ever watched any match in Spain. I just went to this FCB. Yeah. Um, to just check out the stadium. That's all. I never watched a match. At that time, I was not a football fan. But I was in Spain when Spain won the World Cup in 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, football World Cup. So at that time, I was playing in uh, Benasque and... Uh, that was uh, that match I watched live because in Spain, you know, there are all these uh, bars, yeah, open mm -hmm. bars on the street, and you can they put up these giant TV screens and you can watch them uh, on the street, right? Like you can just stand or sit on the street and watch them. So it was a lot of it was very cool. Like the day that evening, that was the first time I watched a football match. I think at that time I was not following much football because. Uh, Okay, in India, like, uh, usually people, I mean, it's not like people don't watch football, but at that time I wasn't. Yeah. But when have you started to watch it? Like, uh... in 2017, I think, or 18. Oh, 2017 or 18? Yeah. So you saw Ronaldo only then? Yeah, 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 I was like, okay, I have to watch his game. Ah, so you haven't watched the Ronaldo before then, and you just saw Ronaldo and you said, wow, it's cool. Guy. <laughs> You, so you yeah, discovered I don't know. I don't know how I started playing. Oh, I, I, I remember now I, how I started the watching football because we started playing football. I, okay, my friends used to play football and I started to join them. So then I started watching football and then I started, then I discovered Ronaldo. I think. That's mm -hmm. it. And uh, okay, they say Messi offended. <laughs> <laughs> all my friends, by the way, in this group uh, of people with whom I play football, all of them are Messi fans. And they are like, you have to say, you know, initially they never call, they used to never call me uh, when they would play football. They were like, no, no, you are a Ronaldo fan. I won't call you. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah, would yeah, not yeah. inform me. <laughs> they won't inform me when they are playing. It is, uh, but then they were like, okay, fine. They started to chill out a bit. So what do you think now? If Ronaldo leaves, uh, leaves the pitch forever... As soon, let's say, uh, will you follow football still, or you will be already disappointed? No, no, I like football. It's not like I watch football for Ronaldo. I think it's an amazing sport. Yeah, because I watch uh, football because of Ronaldo mostly. And when he <laughs> sure. moved to no, but I mean really, I mean when he moved to um, when he moved to Juventus, uh, it was already hard for me to watch the Real Madrid games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like that. Yeah, but I'm not sure uh, what is his uh, really shape now for right now. But uh, in general, yeah, I mean, he's like outstanding player, of course, like nothing to talk about. Just clear. Mm -hmm. So, um, six pack OP, where is it? For Ronaldo, I think six pack OP. For Ronaldo, yes, not for me. Guys, uh, for me, maximum uh, six packs of burgers. So, um, <laughs> okay, let me see. okay, okay. <laughs> they say Raji, you should work for Interpol. <laughs> Asking so many questions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Is it good salary oh, there? That's good a, salary? I think it's because you studied law. Now I get it, Raja. No, just, it's you, because I like, like people. It's your education. <laughs> It's because I like people, even though some of them, they do not believe that I like them. But uh, yeah, I do like people in general. And uh, I'm interested in, you know, listening to stories and stuff like especially. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I mean, uh, all of this, all of the I mean, generally, all, like Sagar says, eh? Sagar says to, uh, the same thing. He says that I want to make some kind of um, videos like movies about life and um, 
kind of uh, I don't know if it's a no no podcast we can call it like the life of the uh, different people yeah the one that makes uh, some food on the street uh, the other one that works engineer then like his entire life yeah because all of uh, you know people's lives are when they're like like kind of scrutinized in this way when you have like interesting questions or like some stuff you want to know about them they're actually very interesting and it doesn't matter the profession doesn't matter the uh, level of life doesn't matter the society where where, where they are and it's usually very interesting. I mean, to hear their stories and so on. And uh, in fact, even people that I mean, people do not realize, but they have a lot in common. Yeah, I mean, different types of people around the world, different cultures, different uh, you know societies, different uh, schools and colleges and everything. But still, they have many many things in common. And uh, uh, many things are just very very entertaining to listen, very nice to listen, very nice to know as well. Because many lives are just very how to say outstanding, uh, unusual, and uh, I mean, a lot of things people say that, uh, um, you know, that interest you. I mean, me, for example, in this case, that's why uh, I just like to hear people talk and especially the, yeah, the nice people I know and, you know, with a lot of interesting uh, stories. And so, yeah, why not? You don't like such things. Yeah, you are like. Uh... No, no, no. I also like, but I just don't ask so many questions as you do. But no, no I also much. like to hear. No. <laughs> It's a good thing. Okay, no, no, okay, it's on a your good channel, thing. on your channel, we will do like a silent Sorry. chess, silent chess, uh, you know, stream. Sorry. Yes. No, no. Hello. Hello. No, I'm E4. just wait. <laughs> Hello, night of six. Yes. Uh, you played Bishop B5 because of knight G4. So, <laughs> yeah, can you ask me because I had idea. I, I, I found a, I found a nice way. I have combination. B5. <laughs> d4 c5 yeah good for you good for me good for them no, good for the biggest problem for me right now is i can't even see you and i'm just like oh, yeah. but okay i can imagine your expression so it's okay you can imagine you can also have the youtube stream there yeah, yeah it's open the... but it's like late it's delayed now so... late or delayed or uh, late back delayed, or... delayed. late and delayed <laughs> okay okay <laughs> I see, I see. So, uh, um, Vivek Paul says it's chess dating OP. Uh, basically, Raj is gossip queen. Thank you, Vaivashvativari. Um, Giant Slayer says you mean mute stream. No, 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 no. Actually, please no, no, fix Raja, your, your hair from behind. Your podcasts are a lot of fun. Whose hair? Mm. My hair from behind. <laughs> what do you mean from behind? Whose hair? <laughs> Some guy said there, I guess. Um... <laughs> So delayed, offended. So me, you can watch Raj on mute. Uh, <laughs> and so this. No no. no, no, no. I really like your podcast. Barcelona yes, game yeah. in one hour, they say. Mm -hmm. Um. So let me see what else. Nice eyebrows, ra eyebrows, Raja. Thank you. <laughs> what? Thank you. Especially worked on it, worked on it before the stream. Um, <laughs> oh, this question is very important. Sagnik Sangsinga asks, Raja, will you ever do Indian movies? <laughs> very important question. Raja. What do you mean if I will make Indian movies? <laughs> will you ever act or uh, some act in Indian movies is the question. I, I didn't get it. Sorry. What? What? Will you ever act in Indian movies? Is the ah, question. Yeah, yeah, of course. Very important question. Very soon. Um, very hard to imagine, to be honest, but still. If I get invited, I will decide. So, stockfish offended, they say. So let's see the um, let's see the game till the end. Finally, this one that ends uh, in uh, three hours game. Let's see this one. <laughs> so knight four f five, and here I went. I mean, I could play queen takes d five, <laughs> which would be winning, but <laughs> okay. What? Okay, important questions. Oh yeah. I what can I say? I mean, what can I say? I had important questions to you, Somia, about your college, your life, uh, Ronaldo, uh, spiders. What else we discussed? Uh, the way you approach chess, the university. And all that stuff. Almost all your life is now in this podcast. Imagine, and it's going exactly. to be saved by uh, by Google. So, guys, I have thousands of questions more to her, but uh, for now we have to finish the game at least. 
Yeah, I'm just feeling like a little guilty for the chessboard, like it's there. I am <laughs> I'm feeling guilty for the podcast uh, because I mean it Nobody's seems to be more important because I remember it. this game. I also played this game and I also won this game because in this way, you know, you don't feel uh, you don't feel uh, guilty for the board in this case. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Cosmos Rai is asking: Is she still in college? Oh yeah, I uh, I am. I am. In which one? No, it's, I'm not Raja. I just thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm just. See, nobody you know, understands my jokes. That's. I problem. understand your joke, but I, I, I'm just especially, especially asking, yeah, because you were not laughing, not, not making even kind of smile when you when you were joking. So I decided also to say, yeah, in which which college you are. Um, okay, fine. Then I also don't understand your jokes. I don't know. Maybe it's you. Mutual. Maybe you decided. It's mutual. Uh, joke offended. Uh, joke offended. <laughs> clearly, both both sides. And uh, so, yeah, Michelle, twenty-four. Then Michelle, he played Michelle night says, four. Vishal says that Raja, my second uh, GF, thinks I'm cheating on her. How should I convince her that I'm not? Wow! Show her our streams, man. It's, uh, Show it's her clear. our our streams, Show our her. streams, streams, streams. So many streams, the chess streams that yes, we're making. Yes. Please, yes, uh, yes, yes. Please, uh, these guys uh, behave well. This is your advice to Vishal. Yes, because if he shows that uh, he's watching the stream, I mean, how can you be jealous? Mm -hmm. Clearly, because he's uh, this stream is all about chess, nothing else. Right. Yes. So let's see uh, what happened in the game. So th th here I found this rook g8. I mean, which seemed to be very uh, stable. Somehow, I mean, after rook g8, the position is very stable. I mean, I'm getting rid of this uh, checks on the g-line. Uh, instead, I could play queen takes d5, which was probably winning. Queen takes, knight takes. I was afraid of this rook g7 stuff. I thought the king is somewhere, can be mated. But in fact, it's very mm -hmm. safe on e6. Uh, but I didn't have time. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, okay, I saw some rook h7, g 7 all this stuff, you know. It's easy to say now, but uh, in fact, there I didn't see that much. But okay, here, rook h8 just wins. And I just seven king goes to d7, and there is no open check anywhere. Like, so it's uh, not not the open check. What is the what is the word for that? Somia, you know English very well. So what's the word for the the check like for this? What? Discover check. Discover check. <coughs> Discover check. Discovery channel. And uh, instead, I've played rook g8, which was uh, a great move, I think. Uh, easy. Knight takes g8. Queen f5, and now this is completely winning. Now, now it's easy. I mean, he goes for rook g7, king gate. Of course, I had to see in advance that the king uh, can hide to e8 because c8 is just, uh, you know, there is a mate on a8, mm -hmm. clearly. So king e8, I had to see in advance that I can do this. But now it's completely winning. Like queen d1, he went. I mean, no other ways, actually. If king g1, even bishop takes f2 is possible. Mm -hmm. And if king f2, just knight h5 and takes g7, knight e6 and takes g7. And uh, if queen f2, there is knight h3 check, also mating. And um, uh, okay, it seems I have a lot of games uh, for many streams because <laughs> today's stream is like uh, four hours and there's still one game. And uh, it seems that my match against Wesley will end uh, closer to the next uh, Chess 24 tournament. Next tournament, yeah, and before the next the tournament. tournament and the preparation is also games. done this way, yeah. So queen d1, queen h3, king g1, and now many ways. I mean, I could play f5, I could play whatever, but f5 is kind of hard to find. Yeah, I mean, king f8 is just simple, you win. Mm -hmm. Just simple win here. So rook g4, and here also f5 is possible. Rook g5, and then maybe bishop f2 even. Yeah, I guess. Bishop f2, king yeah, f2, Yeah, it was a really good game. <laughs> yeah, it's winning. And uh, I mean, it's a very defensive game, but still, I mean, I think I, will, I played it well. I mean, on this... Um, small part of the board you know i just found all, all all of the best moves more or less like which was not that easy because when you show it and then it's easy you know as it is in chess when you when yeah. you show the best moves then it's easy to see and understand and everything explain but during the game it was complicated of course i i had like 10 seconds here or two seconds at some point or something like five seconds something so it was kind yeah. of tricky and here king of seven and just uh, takes g8 next and black's position is completely winning so he resigned so let's see what chat thinks about this uh uh, super analysis. Tell me one thing. Did you always feel like very comfortable with black? Like, uh, I mean, it was always no. like this, is it? No, it was not like, I mean, it's like, no, 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 I, I wouldn't say that. It was just, uh, 
Uh, you mean like uh, through, through my entire career or what? Yeah, I mean, for example, like for in yeah, for example, even in this tournament, yeah, like you were scoring a lot with black, and in general, also you play. So, uh, like, it's always for three results. Uh, yeah, but I mean, so... I've played so many, uh, so many decisive games here as well. Um, I've lost in uh, prelims, I think, around four games and won five or something like that. So uh, for me, it was a roller coaster there, and especially with this field, you know, any game you can lose, any game you can win, more or less. I mean, it's like when on this level you play this 15-minute ge games, uh, it's very hard right. to be stable, yeah, because so many strong opponents, and once you miss something, you just get crushed. So it's kind of a complicated for me. I mean, at least uh, I was trying not to make a lot of draws. I was trying to fight, and which uh, I think is more entertaining than than making a lot of draws and stuff. So I think. Yeah, I mean. That's exactly like you always play fighting chess even from from black, right? So it was always like this. Yeah, usually in my good times were... I did, but at some point I was like making a lot of draws. But nowadays I think I'm changing in in terms of uh, you know, changing towards mm -hmm. a bit more aggressive style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, kind of cool. And um, uh, what is happening? Where are the mods in the chat? And... Yeah. And like for example, your first day wasn't good, right? You made one out of one and a half out of five, and the second day was really good. So, uh, did you like? What did you do? Uh, like, what was your approach for the second day? Yeah, I just started to play um, as fast as I could, because even my mm -hmm. game, for example, which proved to be a good game after all. I mean, uh, in terms of like beautiful game and stuff against uh, Duda. Uh, in mm -hmm. fact, um, you know, during the game, it was kind of complicated because, for example, when I got the um, uh, position there, I mean, I was uh, uh, like courageous or something, whatever you call it. And um, I was pressing and so on, was like playing fast and this. But I actually won two games in, uh, before that. So mm -hmm. I was in a very great mood and I was just like, you know, pushing, 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 like, you know, like when you want to find your way for something. And uh yeah, and it proved to be great against him. But already at some point I thought I'm losing, let's say, in that game. Because he had this King H1 move and like G4... Okay, maybe later we can see the game. But I mean, this G4, G3 stuff... Uh, later, I mean, not today, so me don't be worried. No, and, no, no, uh, I saw your uh, interview with uh, Leko, so I know... What yeah, I was about. afraid of this G4 and King H1. I didn't see uh, what can I do afterwards. But King H1 is so hard and I don't know, I didn't check with the computer. I mean, you probably did, but it's so hard to think that white can defend it, no? It looks so strong, G4. You don't feel so? Uh, like, you mean against the Duda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's say you were playing that position from white. Yeah. Wouldn't you feel uncomfortable if your opponent plays G4? Uh, no, I think, because I mean, King H1 is very okay. natural there to my mind. Okay, but naturally. I think it's that okay. just this energy somehow that uh, more or less smashed, uh, you know, uh, smashed his like defensive uh, uh, approach there or something. Because I mean, I was like really in super mood. I was just playing move by move very fast, like super confident and stuff was like attacking. And uh, I think that this just uh, posed somehow problems to him. I mean, he could really find this King H1. It's not that, not that hard. I saw them losing actually there. So maybe at some point I just had to take the exchange and play that position. What is happening uh, somewhere in our chat? I don't know. Uh, I'll just um, check. Uh, well, well, mods. I think they want mods. There are no mods. I'm a mod. What should I delete, chat? I'm a mod. I can delete all, all of you. I can ban all of you. Ha, ha, ha. You oh, need okay. more it's, mods. Uh, it's uh, Tanya that, uh, that wrote something there. Oh, in our chat. Okay. Yeah, she sent I'm some videos. At, though. Uh, People want to become mods. They're like writing, make me mod, make me mod, mod. Do you want mods for your channel? Yeah, I think later we should decide on this. I mean, because... Uh, um, yeah, because... Uh, probably ah, Puki are... is here. He says hi. Yeah, Puki is there. Uh, I think Queen, Queen of the North, real, Queen of the North is not there. his or her real name? Do you know his or her real name? No. His Important? Or her. I don't know. You, you don't know her? Can we ask him or her? What's your real name? Or you don't want to reveal? Puki11. Can you reveal? Name reveal. Mod name reveal. Yeah. Live on stream. Um, 
They say uh, Pratamesh. Is not Amruta's brother? Yes, yes, yes. What happened to Pratamesh? I don't know. There is Pratamesh guy. Pratamesh Polsane. But I think not. No, no, that's not Amruta's brother. You know Pratamesh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Puki11 says he yeah, doesn't want to, I think. Yeah, I think he doesn't want to. Okay, fine. Yeah. It's okay. okay, guys, with the mods, uh, I will decide with uh, with um, all of our, um, uh, I mean, Wolfpack, AD, Somia, everyone. Uh, Samai, maybe no, Tanya, I think, is not, uh, is not really into mods and stuff. But, um, I mean, yeah, we will have to find someone. Because I think today uh, there are not too many mods. There is Puki and there was some someone else that was there. But also for at, at some point, I mean, quite late, uh, closer to the night in India, uh, the mods, yeah. they go to sleep simply. This is the problem. <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah. Problem. because they are there the whole day and then they have to sleep at some point, right? Yeah, at some point they have to. They, at some point, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, check Discord later. Okay, I'll check Discord later as well. And, You're on uh, Discord, Raja? Yeah, I'm in Discord. I mean, uh, they helped me at some point to um, establish the Discord stuff. And also somebody told me that it's cool. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, so so I just installed it. I have to install it on this compi as well. I mean, because uh, Discord, I mean, on the desktop is much better than online. I mean, on the app, somehow, it's like I think more functions certainly. And um, yeah, mods plan strike. <laughs> okay, I have my sleep routine 3 a.m. Uh, I don't sleep, make me mod. So there are a lot of people like this, you see. Nice. So, so yeah, how 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 is uh, how is um, wh what is the plan for you to change the schedule? Sleep schedule. Sleep schedule, yeah. Just go to sleep and not wake up. Never. For some time. No, <laughs> for some time. For some time. <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not I don't know, easy. Maybe want, like like this princess, you know, like princess, you you, you sleep uh, for a long long time until the prince comes. <laughs> No, actually, uh, Prince Cristiano. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, why not? <laughs> yeah, that didn't sound and right at all. Actually, <laughs> such a stupid <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> just go to sleep and not wake up yet. <laughs> Until Cristiano says and uh, comes and with, speaks Portuguese. Tejao, the zio, bazao, something like yeah, you know, like they speak Portuguese have actually some friends Portuguese I've played for the um, uh, Spanish club and um, uh, there were these two grandmasters uh, what were the yeah. grandmasters um, two of the grandmasters let me see Spanish grandmasters or Portuguese uh, no, Portuguese, grandmasters? Portuguese grandmasters Galego you remember Gale okay. Luis, Luis, Luis Galejo? Galego? You know the guy? No, I haven't. I haven't met him. <clears throat> I know this Cory Jorge. I think he's. No, he's from Peru. He Peru, 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 Peru. Ah, no, he's, from no, no, Peru, Peru. No, no. he's from Peru. Peru, Peru. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, right. and uh, his sister as well. I mean, they, I mean okay, yeah. I mean, clear that his sister as well is from, from Portugal. Yeah. I mean, uh, from Peru. Yeah, but I mean, um, these guys, uh, they were amazing. I mean, we've played uh, the leagues all the time. And. Mm -hmm. uh, they would come just to the round and before we, we, we would never see them and uh, Gallego I liked very much I mean the guys are really cool always like kind of uh, he had this kind of I don't know he I mean he's he's there I think he plays for the Portugal team or something and uh, uh, yeah so after the rounds they kind of disappeared they were always enjoying life and uh, they were coming just to the next rounds and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes he would just play great chess. I think he either beat Carlson once or something. I mean, he was much better against Carlson, like made draw against him or something like this. I mean, he was really playing well, even though he always was like around 25. Uh, and uh, he was still playing like great chess, I think, or for the club as well. But uh, they really had no schedule at all, like the chess players usually do, like, you know, the like most of the players do, yeah, the professional ones. Yeah, so they were just enjoying life. It was, it was fun to watch when I was a kid. I mean, I was a kid. I was still already quite strong, mm -hmm. but but okay. And uh, uh, doc Doctor Dr. Dr. Aps says, "Can you both play chess?" Yeah, probably. 
Bro, well, depends. I mean, we used to uh, we used to play, but uh, now it's hard to say. Now it's hard to say. Uh, there is something in Hindi for you. Um, what? I don't in know, the chat? That you should okay, the chat after. is going very fast. It's very hard. Yeah, even do. though it's like uh, it's post. I mean, not, not do you post, have but slow, slow mode? It's a slow mode. Uh, it's okay. a slow mode with uh, 30 seconds. It's what really is what is a slow fast. mode for you? 60? 10, 10, 10. What do you mean 10? Usually I put it at 10, but 30 is actually very good. It's still going so fast. Can I, I can put 60 if you want. <laughs> no, no. It's, yeah, maybe. No, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe it's temporary because okay, only for try, like a okay, few moments. 60. Then it will be very slow, Raja. Let's Nobody. See, okay, see. fine. Fine. Let's see. Every one minute you can send a message. But somehow it still doesn't change, no? Yeah. Why are they? Okay. Somia, what is your favorite food? Mine. Just like one. Yeah. One favorite food. Yeah. Fish. Which? Shark? No. <laughs> uh uh salmon i really like i mean i can ah, eat okay, salmon, salmon at any point okay, like okay, i can okay. eat salmon every day actually you could eat i mean my, actually that the problem is i cannot eat anything every day yeah that's the problem like in my home we are south indians okay and you know south indians they make like in our family and all south indian families uh, tamilians basically tamil people they make the same breakfast every single day and Which they one? eat the same thing every single day. And my father, for example, eats the same. He has the same food every day, same food. I don't understand. And they expect me also to be like them, which is impossible. Like even if I, let's say one day there is a curry at home. Okay. And I say, it's really good. Then mm -hmm. all the next few days, like three or four days, it will be there every day. And then there'll obviously be a point when I'll be like, okay, I can't eat this anymore. And they'll be like, but you said you like it. So, uh, so that's you the were problem. Like, I cannot uh, eat the same thing every day. You were, you, you were like polite to them and uh, they think that you like it, yeah? No, no, not polite. So let's say they make some curry, which yeah. I like. Yeah. Okay. And I tell them that I liked it. Okay. So then it was for the good. next it was three good. days. It's yeah, it, it is actually good. good. It is and actually then they good. would give it to you for next uh, 30 days. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And I'm like, that doesn't but make it's logical. sense. Because... It's logical, no? If you liked it. No, I, that's, that's the point. I cannot eat something every day. And uh, I think most people can't. Can you eat something every day? Like if you like something, can you eat it every day? No, no, it's hard. It's hard. But your parents, they, they, it's eat, very boring, the, no? they uh, eat like this. Yeah, in that case, it means... So they're fine. Yeah, yeah. South Indians, uh, not only my parents, I think uh, most, many South Indian families I have seen, they eat the same food every day and they're somehow very happy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. I don't know how it's possible. Like for me, it's very hard. Mm, yeah, but what I mean, about if you, you. I don't know. It depends what. Because I mean, for example, breakfast, it can be more or less the same. Uh, I, I I wouldn't say it's like exactly the same every day, but uh, like for example, I mean we usually have like something like I don't know eggs or I don't know some depends yeah some bread and some like I don't know sandwiches whatever depends, um, or some yogurts or something. But uh, certainly not every day the same thing yeah because otherwise you're just kind of bored and like everything. Okay, so it's already nice to have some food of course, but uh, in fact that I mean when it's every day the same yeah I agree I mean it's like hard a bit, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was reading the, this Korchanai book and uh, in that he mentions that he used to have porridge every single day for breakfast. Who? Korchanai, Victor Korchanai. Ah, Victor Korchanai. Yeah, but porridge is like fine. I don't know. I, you don't like porridge probably, yeah? Because milk sinks. No, no, you I like or... it. No, no, I like it. But he used to have it every day, it seems. Yeah. Every day for breakfast. Yeah, porridge every day is hard a bit, yeah. Yeah, but there is some kind like there is oatmeal. Let's say oatmeal you can have every day more or less without problems. Like it's like neutral. Um, yeah, but the, the yeah oatmeal is okay maybe no. Yeah, everything is okay. See. Like... No, but I mean even every day for the breakfast you can have oatmeal and stuff. No, so add just add okay. some things maybe yogurt or something. Okay. 
they say uh what's your favorite food mm, mine is like uh, connected with meat and stuff so it's like the steak like steak. Uh, yeah okay. not everywhere but in some places there are like amazing steaks so i like them and um and uh yeah the fries probably yeah so all this uh not good for health foods are okay with me somehow i like it it's like uh I mean, I'm not, not sure it's that bad, him. but still, it's like consider it not that healthy. Yeah. But uh, in India, I think you you don't eat too much steaks, like right? I think it's not. Right, it's not that popular. Yeah, because of the uh, cultural things. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. And um, but there are steaks in general, but or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything is available, but yeah. not so popular. Uh, Tushar Tiagi says, "Raja' favorite food is bats." <laughs> is it because uh samai's uh, last time uh, the picture was like f flipped or flipped around and uh he was like a bat there you know i i just uh accidentally changed it on the stream <laughs> did, and, did it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he looked like a bat there we discussed it actually and uh bat offended once again oh samai is there moment what he wants there she says okay uh Two hundred seventy megabytes for this guy. You what? serious? Yeah. Did you? See? <laughs> yes. I also saw. <laughs> Is he coming? I don't know. He says Enjoying. not possible tonight, man. Sleeping. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here it's clear. So Samai pretends that he's sleeping, which is not true for sure. No, he has uh 270 megabytes per second. Yes. And uh no, it's not chatting not? on stream, guys. I mean, he's available now for five minutes, first time in a day. I mean, before he didn't answer properly. So I just, uh, I mean, he sent this picture. And uh, yeah, so it's cool internet, yeah? There is a lot of good internet, right, in India? Like, is it? Yeah, what yeah, kind yeah. Of... yeah, yeah. Is it BSNL get... or anything else? No, no, no. I don't have BSNL. Some, some I also doesn't have BSNL. You have what? Uh... Okay, I can tell. Okay, it's I mean, what is the stuff. speed? Okay, what is the speed? Uh, it's quite good. Oh, wait, let me check. It's quite good, actually. Let me check now. Quite good. I think it's like 100 up speed and 100 down speed. Mm, wait, speed test.net, yeah? Just a moment, let me do a speed test. Um, right now it's, uh, 92. Okay. Not bad. Mbps, uh, not yeah, it's 92 very good. Mbps. It's very yeah, good. yeah, it's not. It's very good. Guys, uh, how, how about, about your you? internet? Yeah, it's fine. No, mine here is like 45 and okay. uh, usually it's 90, yeah, around 90 or something, but I can increase in general. Uh, I think the highest available is around 200, 300 here or something. Which is okay. also which is also very good actually yeah, but I mean it's more than enough yeah when you have like more than ten let's be fair, but around thirty is already very more good. More than ten? No no I think minimum forty fifty minimum. No me when I right? when I'm uh, over ten I'm okay like uh, just fine. And you are? Uh, now forty five okay, maybe. Forty five. Yeah. Up speed is also forty five. Okay, interesting. Yeah, the, the, it's okay yeah. Uh, <laughs> Vikash, Vikash says, Vika? you saw it, yeah? Yeah. I saw Raji streaming when I was three and now I'm 23, Raji is still streaming, when will the stream end? 
guys uh okay you see i mean look at the guys i mean nevin for example he has one megabyte per second it's already yeah it's not not that great it's hard a bit one guy prashant kumar is having like 100 megabytes per second and uh yeah go fiber op and so on yeah yeah mine is also fiber internet that's right yeah it's cool it's cool it's cool but uh the the best uh in mumbai yeah is uh what match one what is it I don't know. I'm yet to find out. I don't know what is the best in Bombay. Yeah, but a lot of guys I see on the stream, let's say they have a let's say they have a great internet, yeah, somehow. 290 MB. Who has this 290 MB? Please tell me also. 290 Someone... MB. Swarnava Banerjee. I think yeah. they're just like Yeah, yeah but it's, it's really cool, yeah. No, but there are some yeah. like for example, um uh Igor Nataf uh, from France. I mean, he he was you uh -huh. know him, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he was my sparring partner for a long time, the coach and so on. And uh, mm -hmm. I think already around five years ago or something, maybe three to five years ago, he got the internet of uh, 500 megabytes per second, which was not wow. that usual at, at the time, you know? I mean, it's like 100 already seemed like something, uh, uh, you know, impossible or unachievable or something. And he had 500 and this was like crazily strong. And I mean, wow. crazily fast. And uh, yeah, so I think everything was just, uh, you know, uh, downloading, of course, uh, working so fast like super smooth you just press the on the on the page it was just loading immediately without any any uh, pause so it was cool so i will think maybe to increase the internet here i don't know why i need it actually my internet is okay but as you said that minimum 30 already it hurts me because it's uh, i only have 45 which is uh, like the, the the bordering bordering with what should be uh, the right internet for the stream not to lag it's uh, like minimum 30 otherwise uh like your stream might otherwise, lag. Otherwise I mean, not for lags. chess. Yeah. Not for chess, but uh, for the YouTube streaming up speed. The yeah. Up yeah, speed yeah. needs to be minimum thirty. Uh, <laughs> Pranav yeah. Agarwal says Raja is going to finish my data pack by streaming all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so guys. Okay, okay. So um, what do you think, Somia? Should we call it a day? Yeah. Because I think yes. it's like already four thirty. Also, you have to sleep. Yes. I have yeah, to, yeah. Uh, not sure what I have to do, but uh, I will do you something. Have to have dinner, yeah? For example, to have yes. a late dinner. Uh, Somia, yes. thank you so much for joining. Uh, chat, thank please, you, Raja. Uh, please, hearts, hearts for Somia. And I think she just, uh, he, she helped us, uh, you know, to, to, to make a great stream. So please, hearts to Somia. Let's oh, go today. Well. And tomorrow, Samai should appear finally from his, uh, <laughs> um, from his house, new, new place with amazing new internet yeah new house new place with amazing internet and now he can calmly talk to sagarika latkar without any problems and delays from pune to arizona i think or where she is so uh it's not a gf reveal i don't know who's his gf pros possibly sagarika but um but I think uh, your podcast, uh, like it was a great stream. I really liked your game. But the best part for me was the first one and a half hours when there was no chessboard. And you were Today like... or year when? <laughs> yeah, I was enjoying like as an audience. I was enjoying. Thank you so much, your... Somia. Thank you so much. Because uh, you are very uh, humble. That's why. Because when you came to the stream, you already considered it, it's not something and so on. Yeah, it's not so so interesting. Yeah, like when you're talking about uh, your, your own thoughts, life, it's yeah. very interesting. Yeah, like I mean, it's very interesting to hear you talk rather than me talk. I think. Yeah, but you, you can imagine, yeah, because it's not interesting for me to listen to me. That's why it's more. <laughs> well, I mean, it's more interesting for me when uh, I can talk to you and ask questions about your life and uh, about anything and uh, uh -huh. chat i mean talk about all the subjects rather than me just talking and uh so the same uh, goes for you you don't like to listen to yourself because you know what you will say more or less but me for yeah, example i don't maybe. know but i mean no actually also interesting because i don't know every second i don't know what i will say and how it will turn out so it's kind of exciting still anyway and uh, yeah. i think it was like great podcast let's call it podcast from time to time today was uh, i mean was a lot of chess as well but uh we can call it a podcast more in general what happened in maybe last of these three streams where i had the uh, conversations with with you and with samai yes so podcast guys uh, love love to somia thank you so much somia for coming bye bye hope you sleep bye -bye, well Raja. Keep in bye, touch. Chad. bye bye chat thank you so much bye -bye. and see you tomorrow Bye-bye.